Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems good. Uh, Where's our live. image? Seems Um, preview shows Factorio, but the live shows a black screen. What's going on? Oh, it's showing on Twitch anyway. It's probably fine. Okay, let's continue, shall we? Um, once I turn this off, and what's happening here already? Hole is not emptying. We ask for two train loads of coal. Oh, I got rid of these uh, filters because. I was uh, recording that for a blueprint. Come to think of it, that probably means the opposite side blueprint may have filters on it. I don't think it does. I think you'd be able to see them here. Let's check. Yep, no, this is totally fine. A whiskers? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so, we're missing a few speed modules. Those are going to be sent up by this rocket right here when we're done loading some other miscellaneous stuff that we want. Since we don't have a full production line for every little thing in orbit just yet. Um... But we've basically got our first step done for astronomic science packs. In the rail block, that is. Although, now that I think about it, I'm not sure exactly why I started astronomic science packs first, because uh, what I really want to get done, the first tier 2 science pack that I want... Um, in orbit is energy science. So if anything, I should be... Oh, good grief. It is going to be a task and a half. But I should start putting energy science in uh, the rail block. So let's see. We have a requirement for two types of fluid. Uh, we're not going to do it with these materials. We're going to... Actually, we can pick up the... Um... That's the wrong station. We could maybe pick up the multispectral mirrors from here. I don't know if that's going to be fast enough. Actually, no, we know it's going to be fast enough, because one of these is fast enough to support the entire energy science. Uh, what happened to my rate calculator? What? What? Why is... Why is rate calculator down here now? What happened to our mods? I didn't accidentally load with the wrong mods. Hey, Hughes Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I can't move these around, can I? Uh, module inserter... ...was at the end here. And I'm comfortable with that. Nav set, I click up there or press N. Uh, Universe Explorer is up there. Informatron is up here as well. 
I don't really want respawn as something that I could click by accident, which I have before, but fortunately it does give you a confirmation. Factory planner, vehicle snap. X-ray vision is still there. Um... Yeah, it, I can't think of anything that's missing or changed, but this is all in a different order now. Reorder them on the list. Uh, okay, so... Great calculator... Oh, it's this thing, isn't it? Fantastic, that's what I wanted, thank you. Okay. So, module inserter goes at the back. I never actually toggle vehicle snap on and off. I think we could probably remove that. In fact, I can't remember the last time I drove a car. That's pretty much everything I use down here, right? I could also include... We've actually got two mods that do factory planning because I was trying them out. Uh, although I don't see a shortcut for it here. And I guess Informatron can stay down there as well because sometimes I don't know where to look to find it. Cheers, Whiskers. I don't know what I would do without my viewers, honestly. As no matter how many hours you put into Factorio, no matter how much you learn, there's always something for other people to show you. Okay. Um, so I wanted to make... Well, okay, first of all, let's do the rounds checking on... Yeah, we've got some military spiders with plenty of rockets and perfect health standing around here for the moment. Uh, let's give them some orders. And... Oops. One and two. That's a long base. Um... I think I would like them to clear this one out and then go back up here and get these little expansions and we'll leave them somewhere safe for when we check on them next time. I don't want to send them back for resupply just yet. Uh, so why don't you come over here? And group one, do your thing over here. Make sure that all of the area around the, where we're going to park the spiders has been covered. Hey, Rorosaur. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Our new outpost seems to be missing some regular solar panels, but... Wait, how did this get placed here? Oh no, that's normal. Um, that's probably fine, actually. What's going on here? Oh, uh, wait, what? How did we end up with... I think I was supposed to tell LTN how many robots we have uh, available... Total construction bots, total logistic bots. Let me just check if that's the same at another station. Uh, it is not. So how is it... Because we... Yeah, because that's the first station where we set it up so that it would direct insert bots. Okay. So we're asking for only 50 of each. 
Hmm. I'm not sure, without changing this significantly, how we could have it both ways, where we make sure there's plenty of bots here, but also a reserve. I don't think there's any point, actually, to having a reserve sitting in the uh, logistic chests themselves. There's plenty of room to store the bots we need here. And we're only actually requesting 50 of each. So yeah. We'll just send that back to get recycled into the network. Um, and if we're requesting regular solar panels here, that would be why they haven't arrived yet. That is a nice collection of excited animal emotes. Speaking of which, uh, I couldn't help but notice... I mean, I knew this in the back of my head, but I hadn't checked for a long time. I've actually got a lot of emote slots available right now, and looking for things to add. I have a couple of ideas, but nowhere near as many as I have emote slots for the moment. Uh, so if you guys have opinions on what we should add to the channel, uh, by all means, love to hear them. Although, considering my level of artistic ability, there are some limitations on that. Excited animated emotes are preferable, indeed. Um, okay. Let's head, let's look back at Orbit. Now, I think our overall rate that we need for mirrors here is, it's actually less than, it's barely more than half of one per second. Uh, and that's to keep up with this machine going at full speed. So... Uh, I think we'll be fine to just take multi-spectral mirrors from a couple of these machines where we make our solar panels. This may end up being wrong, but how did you end up coming here for not as much scrap as you asked for? Scrap 8000. We're reading the amount of scrap that's in here. Input signal 17... This isn't balanced. How did this happen? We have a splitter here. We have... I wonder if... That's interesting. Negative 734... Okay, so you can see it from the green lights here. The slight tweak on the balanced loaders that I normally do to make sure that the stack inserters go as fast as possible if we've got a high throughput coming in. Just allowing each inserter to go... Oh... That's not the problem. Okay, what I was going to say, which is wrong, but there's some truth in it, I think, um, is that if the inserters are allowed to go a little bit ahead of the average, things can snowball to the point where some chests have way more than others, but definitely not to this extent. Um... You can see now from the red lights that the balanced loader is actually working as intended. What I'd actually missed was putting a red wire to give a positive signal of how much we've got in each chest to the inserters. Uh, so we can go fix that quite easily thanks to even distribution. Just pick up a little bit of scrap, uh, control... Hold control, click and drag over the entire thing, and it'll rebalance 
uh, it'll rebalance the inventories for all of those chests. It's a very nice mod. What's this train doing? Glass. Why is glass delayed? Because this scrap train is in the way. That's fine. And... The coal train was blocking the light fuel... Light oil train because there were no filters on these inserters. Looks like the rest of the rail network is fine. I might just wait until this train is loaded and rebalance again after that. There we go. Fantastic. Why is there still scrap in my inventory? A couple of stacks here or there won't change it. It's as long as it's balanced enough to load the train. Okay, so we know that multispectral mirrors we can just pick up from the rail network with a small train. Uh, 0.6 per second and two of these machines if we're not making solar panels can do 6.8 per second. I think we'll be okay there. Um, so that comes from the rail network. We'll need pickups at the block. Well, I don't know how many blocks we're going to have to divide this down into. Um, maybe even like four or five. I think we'll probably have this whole section, one rail block, that should be pretty easy. It's got four physical inputs, a fluid input and a fluid output. Uh, also a physical output that's a side product, which is the blank data cards. Um, so that makes three. At least three. Um, is this contaminated? That makes four. Hmm. We're up to four outputs for side products that have to be dealt with. Of course, that's if we have to do the entire thing in one go. Uh... This section would have two, one for broken uh, junk data cards and one for blank. Uh, this obviously has junk and scrap, contaminated scrap, junk, and nothing over here. And we get a fluid train to pick up Ion stream and plasma stream. I suspect we can. And that's going to feed some other sciences as well. So I think the first thing I would like to do is basically put something like this in the rail network. We'll produce as much of this stuff as we can in one block. Although, if I cram it in as much as I can, let's see, that is only 0.78 stone per second, and this is only 1.5 copper plate per second, so we can absolutely jam this all together as tightly as we like and the belts will be able to support it, however, the actual fluid input and output is also quite slow surprisingly slow, considering the size of these machines and the speed modules. Um, we could cram all of this together as tightly as possible, but that's not going to leave room for beacons. But I don't really 
until I know the size of the wide area beacons, I can't really plan for them. So I think we should probably just... We should probably just make a version of this that ignores beacons and it'll be a pretty simple build. If we want to upgrade it later on, we can. Uh, by which I mean make an entirely different rail block and we can uh, decommission this one. Okay. So, just to support, um, tier 1 space science at the default speed for one space manufactory, we've got 18 plus 8, um, 26 plasma generators, and only 6... Uh, particle accelerators. Alright, let's see how they fit together here. So our inputs are stone, copper plate, uh, chemical gel, plasma stream is going to be an export and we'll also have it go directly to uh, the ion stream I think. Um, should be, wait, is all of this, wow, we need a lot more of these to support these, 18 to 6 to be precise, 1 to 3, yeah, okay. So, three inputs. Two solids, one fluid. That's very straightforward. The only question is what the shape of it is going to be like. So. Um, I obviously don't have these machines on hand at the moment. But... This is bigger than I thought it was. Um, I kind of want it to be vertical so that we can have the belts coming down. And these ones just require stone for input. too close together. Space belt goes here. And inserters. I could save a bit of space by doing a squiggly belt. How will substations fit? They won't quite cross over that pipe. But if we do the squiggly belt... Move this one tile closer. Uh, I was going to say that can touch four of those, but then it won't reach across. Hmm. This can just barely reach, right? A little bit more than barely. So if this was one tile further apart... Except we kind of need... Like this. 
I could just do a substation every couple of machines. Okay. That's the wrong way around. And then... Reprint that. Snap to grid relative. Height is like 10, I think. No. Offset this many. There we go. And if it takes three of these to support one of those, then we can do 12. Um, that's actually just... Oh, it needs copper as well, doesn't it? So, it doesn't really matter which side is the input and which side is the output, does it? We could do this again. Is that right? No. And then substations will fit together a little bit better. Oh, it's actually max distance. Nice. That's not right. Is it? Hold on, what's going on here? Uh, these are uh, off-center a little bit. Okay. So that would go there. That would go there. This is already um, probably way more than we need, quite a while. We'll need to get stone in on the sides for that one. This only has fluid as an output. I forgot the minor detail of having room for the pipes here. Um, we could pipe like this and this and this and do some undergrounds. That might be good. Um, so 12 of these with their speed modules is only 312 uh, iron stream per second. No matter how many we cram into this space, we don't need to worry about a pipe bottleneck. Um, so let's put that there. That just barely doesn't reach, and I'm very sad. That is seriously unfortunate. So there's actually no way to join these pipes if I do it like that. Pretty sure we'll have to make this one tile wider. Um, yeah. All right then. Just 
just a basic belt. Uh, and settings. And it's really, really weird looking the way these line up. And then... I just forgot that wouldn't reach, so what we actually need to do is a 3B with some undergrounds. jam some substations uh, down the middle here somewhere. Wait, what? Oh, it's fine. Does that cover these inserters? Almost. Can I move all of these? If I move all of these up one tile, that one's not covered. Uh, this is actually in the wrong spot. ones. Yeah, no, we can still connect those via pipes. And I think we'll just have one of those pipes come down here. Okay, so what's our ratio here? 36 to 12, that's that's actually a perfect ratio for making nothing but uh, the blue plasma. Could we perhaps... Um, we're going to need more than this as well, like, to support the entire base. At this rate, we're going to need to make more than one block. Uh, for all of this. We can put that there, and... That there, I think. I don't think that's our ratio anymore. 54 to 24. Definitely not. It's 24 times 3, 70... Uh, 2... How do we fit 72 of these? I think the answer is we don't. Hmm. You know what? Uh, considering what I said before, that we're building this without beacons and don't know how big they're going to be and all of that, uh, I think we'll just go for our ratio that's built to support tier 1 science in the meantime. Um, except we will need eight more, uh, 26 of these. Okay, so get rid of that for now. Uh, 54 is considerably more than we need here. 27 is slightly more above what we need. Um, I think we'll just go for like 36 since it's kind of neat anyway. And let's 
wrong here? Alright, cool. Now then. Uh, there's no physical outputs from these, I'm pretty sure. Just fluids. I, I'm sure I know the answer, but let's just double check. 36 of these can easily be supported by belts. Very, very easily. And 12 of these. Barely any copper plate. Uh, so. We'll have our unloaders here. We don't... Oh, I need to put the stations down so we can see where the chests go. Uh, we really don't need two belts of output for this one, but we'll have to split it anyway. Uh, it's actually... The amount that we need is so small. Uh, let's do a... If I had any steel chests. Uh, let's do a slow unloader here. Gonna need some belt. Well, at least I can get the design part done here without any... Oh, the spiders actually have the chests. Fantastic. Alright, that goes there, and we read belt contents hold. All of these read their hand contents as well, and we don't swing the inserters again until everything equals zero. Uh, so, I'm going to copy this, rename it to have the word space on the end. Uh... Select new contents, and that's it. Although I think I should change the icon a little bit here. Space belt. Okay. This goes here, this goes here. Uh, I did it again. Chuck in a couple of undergrounds. Same thing for the copper plate. Obviously with the... Um, the very low throughput that we need, you could argue that we don't need to summon four cargo wagons for this. But the fewer train deliveries that we need to make uh, the better, generally. Okay, let's just confirm that it is, in fact, stone that we need to support this one. It is. Almost forgot the chemical gel as well. Uh, so, stone goes here. And chemical gel goes here. Need some pumps. Whoops. And I I'm tempted to move all of these over a tile just so that pipe lines up. 
In fact, I'm very tempted to do that. Okay. So our underground pipe goes here. Put a 3B here. I guess I could move the whole thing up a bit. But I'm just not that worried about using all of the space this time. We know that this block is going to become obsolete. Um, this one requires copper plate, right? Yes. So I don't want to spend that much time on this build. What the? Train input goes here. Substation goes uh, here. Kind of feel like making that one line up exactly. Oh, I could literally just move all of these substations over one time. Fantastic. Uh, so, we need a standard drop-off. This one wants stone. Uh, two train loads. And chemical gel. Get more than one train load. And long trains only. Uh, connect. Wait, before we connect, let's name the station. Stone and chemical gel. Requester. You know, uh, because of... Because of LTN, I've been very lax with uh, setting colors for these stations, but if I'm using a naming convention whereby the logistic network chests describe what this station does. Maybe I should use those colors as well. 0100 looked better, didn't it? Let's see how close this is. It's slightly dark. That's probably a little bit too bright. That's pretty good. Okay, and then this one uh, is a requester of copper plate only. Connect and connect. And don't forget to actually request the copper plate. Since it's so slow, I'm just going to request a little bit more than one train load. Cool. Uh, now we need the... Why is... Oh, okay. Since this is nine tiles wide, I'm a little sad the uh, 
the Niners don't connect on the sides. Hmm. Oh well. Let's just go with about the neatest thing we can do here. Dagnabbit, indeed. Do any of these just happen to line up? Doesn't look like they do. Tragic. Uh, at least none of our long pipes are the right length for this as well. That's unfortunate. I could put this here. No, it's fine. So, I think... What is this? Eight tiles in the middle. I've left myself with no way to make this nice and symmetrical. Um, I did... I was tempted to move all of this over a tile earlier, and I think I'll do that. Oh, I can't flip it. Uh, okay, okay, fine. Wait a moment, please. And then... Put these back... On the left. That'll allow us to put a 9 here, and I will be significantly happier than if we didn't do that. Fantastic. Considering it's going to take a little while, I probably should have plasma genetic uh, queued up the plasma generators and particle accelerators to be built up here. Um, so let's do that. It's like we're doing the particle accelerators first. Don't know that we have lasers up here still. Oh, we... That's gun turrets. I was going to say we automated them. Um, we have 234 lasers. That's good. What about space assembly? 378. Okay, cool. Seems like that's going to get done. Our target was 12. I'm glad it's going to do the one that we want the smallest count of first. Uh, 36 of those as well. Where did I put it? That's the main bus base. Uh, 36 of these. So theoretically, that will get done without our supervision. It depends on if we have the materials to build these things. Uh, we should also... connect all of these fluid outputs. I didn't actually realize we'd gone this close to the rail at the bottom. Alright, so this goes... Here. This goes here. Train stations go here and here, I think. Perfect. There should also be a couple of chain signals up here. And down here as well. Um, and then we just need some, normally the fluid tanks would be 
on the south side. That's just what we've always done. There's nothing wrong with having them on the north, but it feels strange to me to not have the fluid ones on the outside. Because the fluid... What's this? Oh. Vitamolange extract is being delivered. Wait, what? Train limit 1, 160k Vitamolange extract. I may have... Considering this is 50 times 24 times 48. I may have accidentally asked for too much of this. Um, how much does it take to fill a rocket here? I think there was just a typo or something. Um, 25,000. Yeah, I don't think we should be asking for more than that. I don't particularly want to... Okay, for one thing, I don't understand why two trains are here if the train limit is one, but... Uh, other than that, I don't particularly want to send Vitamolange extract back to... You know, the random recovery places. How does this still not have fast inserters? Regular inserters, burner inserters, single cylinder engines. We don't have any single cylinder engines. There's a train stuck here. But that's not blocking the drop off. Are we just not requesting them? We are requesting them. 10,000 single cylinder engines. And we have 57,000 single cylinder engines here. What is going on? How... Huh? A fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Logistic storage, 2,820. Why are they not getting delivered here? Oh. Because I made these buffer chests. Okay. They won't get, like, rebalanced in the buffer chests. That's why. I guess that means these should be requester chests? I wish we could have it both ways, whereby the bots would rebalance these things and this stuff would still be available to the logistic network. Yeah, that's, uh... I gotta be careful. Can't just copy paste. These requests are different. That does it. And down here. I just delete its orders and say unload to empty unload to empty turn go back to depot do that for both trains uh we've got construction robots we've got a uh, 400 and here we're making just a few single cylinders um yeah well, that explains why inserters kept stopping here. What about this? We're asking for rockets and somehow 
somehow it filled the entire train. What? What? Okay, first of all, why is a long train asking for 416 rockets? Uh, because that station is allowed both short trains and long trains. Like, that is such a terrible waste of a long train. Okay. Second of all, how, if we're requesting rockets, did... I think the train arrived here with... I, I really wish there was a setting to change this. Maybe I should look again and see if there is. But for some reason... I think what happened here is our precise loader failed somehow. We had inserters sticking out with one stack each of multi-cylinder engines. The train arrives. The tick before uh, this gets updated, it puts 40... Oh, sorry, 20. So it was two of these inserters. Um... It puts a few multi-cylinder engines in the train. What the train is actually asking for is 416 rockets, but there's no way with the circuitry we can tell the difference between the rockets that the train is actually asking for and this signal of 20, um, 20 multi-cylinder engines that were already in the train when it arrived. Um, how on earth did it end up with multi-cylinder engines that it shouldn't have? Probably this thing. I think I remember noticing earlier that this wasn't set up with the copious uh, provide stack threshold that I usually use to make sure this works. I don't see any inserters sticking out here. So yeah, I'm really not entirely sure how this happened, but... Uh, in order to fix it, we're gonna have to send you back to the depot. Okay. So they unload but don't dump to trash? Uh, which things unload but don't dump to trash? That reminds me, I wanted to get rid of the old trash trains. Um, where are they? Oh, they're here. Okay, good. All I have to do is rename them. Um, this one... This one has the correct schedule. Okay, cool. So they're all trying to go to trash pickup, which we've got some fake stations right here. Um, in case there's some confusion with the train limits and stuff. As soon as another trash pickup has items available, the train limit will change from uh, zero to something else, and they'll come and pick it up. Speaking of which, here's a perfect example. Or it should be. Train limit is one. Nope. Um, do we just have these eight trains? Six, seven, eight. Yes. So one of these trains should be coming here to pick this up. But I'm not seeing it. Uh oh. Why you are suffocating? Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god. Where are the spiders? Spiders help. Spiders help. Where are you? Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? 
I actually ran out of life support? Oh, because I don't have any life support things in here. Oh my god. <laughs> that could barely have been closer. In before death? Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> the vital train's queuing for the rocket. Oh, what about them? Um... I'd just delete its order. Yeah, they're not blocking that much. Um, but on the other hand, Vide is like... Vide, I think, is actually... It's extract, right? It's one of our slowest things to consume. I probably should just send them back. Uh, where are they? Right to... Train... Up here. It is extract, is it not? Yeah, that is a, a lot of extract. It's going to be shoved back into a robo network. Jeez, that was close. Wait, is that not healing me? Do I have to, like, get out of the spider to make it heal me? Neiman, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, back to... Why are these... Hmm... How do I... How do I vanilla train? If I set the limit on these to zero... Shouldn't that make you head towards a different station? Why are you not going to this station instead? Hmm. What if I delete this station? Then you're off. And then what do you do after... Oh, great, that means we've accumulated a bunch of trash pickups to do. Okay, what if I remove all but one of these? Off they go. This one as well. They're not all going to the same trash pickup, right? They are. I thought this one had a limit of one. It does have a limit of one. Why are they all racing to get to the same station? Or is it just... It's not showing me the specific tr station they're going to. Okay. So that one's going there, that one's also going there, that, they're all trying to go to that station, probably because I never thought to put a limit on it. Yeah, this one also still has the anything greater than zero condition, um, which we may need to change. It's going to be the same deal with this one so now we should see some of them they're all trying to go here now okay vanilla trains are so confusing let's get our spiders um 
to pick up as many of these as we've made so far. 33 to go. That's not great, considering we need 36. But it will at least be slightly functional. Alright. Continuing to design things. Space pipe. Oh, that lines up as well, because of course it does. Nice. I like that. And other fluid pickup down here. Output. Don't tell me. The output manages to not line up with either of those. But I guess we could do it from the middle. Lung pipe. Less lung pipe. That'll work. Nice. We'll put down a standard drop off. Wait, standard pickup. I should change the icons on these. Um, or just add one. Pickup station is a provider. A drop-off is a requester. And what's this? Oh, I know what that is. That's my negative a million of those four signals for removing them from the logistic, uh, logistic train network output combinator. Um, I think I'll add the decider combinator that that goes with. Uh, to clarify things a bit. Alright, so provider goes here. And I guess the default red is close enough to the passive provider chest. The only one I'll have to recolor is sometimes we use a purple chest to represent that we have to keep this empty, otherwise it'll block something else. Oh, we're back to making space manufacturings. I guess they're sort of a higher priority. Okay, let's head on back with our breathing and heartbeat noises. I also haven't launched that rocket yet. Uh, are we still loading anything? No. We've got some belts, signals, inserters, a little bit of pipe because we don't have much here anymore. Uh, why do we not have pipe? Because it's missing copper cable, which is not even listed here. There we go. There goes some more satellite telemetry data. Oh, and we've got nothing making copper cable over this way. That would probably help. How about... This. Okay. Back on Nalvis. Haven't checked on the military spiders for way too long. They've still got a lot of ammo. Group 1. Group 2. And 
and I think we're down here after that one. And watch out for the water, don't get stuck. I think we'll give them a little break after that. We'll see how much ammo they've got left. Alright, cool. Are the logistic bots chasing us? They are. Here goes... Hopefully some particle accelerators. Let's name our stations. Plasma. Where is it? Plasma stream. Provider. And ion stream. Provider. Oh, uh, wait. I was given some life support by the logistic bots, but hardly any. Okay, let's um, let's stretch that out as far as we can, shall we? Where's my life support? I did turn off a setting to show how much time I get with the life support. But apparently there isn't a way to um, I think it's under per player. Low priority zones, that's not it. Never show life support GUI. Yeah, no. Uh we've got over an hour now. With just three of those uh, life support canisters. Okay. I should stay in the spider anyway. Uh, we're not going to use the stack threshold because it is a fluid. Actually, make it 25,000. I don't know. I, I've run into this problem a couple of times already. I would like small trains, like a small fluid train, to be able to pick this stuff up. But I want the... Uh, I would like the, the pickup threshold to be a full train if it's a long train, if that makes sense. I think I'll just have to stick to only using the uh, 100k threshold. Unless we're going to make some exceptions. Okay. And this goes here, this goes here. We could do that with one combinator, but I would hate the look of the wire crossing the track. So unsettling hearing that heartbeat and suffocation. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, we need some power, of course. I guess that's as neat as it gets. Wait, let me let me use some med ki uh, med kits to get rid of that sound. Now that I jump out of the spider, it actually works. All right, cool. And I guess we'll do it here. Uh, I want it to be consistent with the other side, so that doesn't work. Wait, how is that placed? 
It's on the inside of the outer one. You know, that does work. I don't love the way that looks. Let's just do it this way. No, not like that. And maybe this one. Like so. I guess we'll have to live with it. Now then, how is it we placed none of these machines? I know the spiders picked up some of them. Actually, no, I don't. I just realized I didn't make any requests for them. They're probably all over here. Yes. Right along with the uh, space manufactories. Okay, let's head back. And I'll add... What do these even stack to? Uh, where is our space stuff? There we go. There's plasma generators. They only stack to five. Now let's just go five each. There's hardly any of them. Particle accelerators stack to one. Well, we're going to need to carry a few stacks each for now. There we go. And... How are our small trains doing? Our trash trains. No path to trash pickup and you're not moving. Why? I'm pretty sure the tra the unreachable trash pickup train uh, station here. It has no train limit. It should be the case that this does not have any issues with that. All twenty four stops are inaccessible from this current position. Oh, you don't have a way to turn around. That's why. But why did you stop where you were? Alright, so now you're in motion. What about the rest of them? No path to trash pickup. You did the same thing. Isn't the entire point of having this unreachable but no train limit station so that they don't do that? How do you... how do I make you turn around? Like this? No path to trash pickup. Same problem as the other one. We've actually made it worse. They're, they actually are getting stuck indefinitely and blocking the train system after I tried to implement this uh, so-called fake station. I'm not sure what to do about it. I'll check on him in a few minutes and see if any others got stuck. Military spiders are chillin'. They've still got a decent amount of ammo. Let's have them clear out. Uh, 
a few more nests and then head back home I think And one more. Okay. Back home. Here you go. And same for you lot. Okay. Why do we not have substations here? Surely we have those included in our list. Yeah, we do. We're just still busy making inserters for some reason. There's no iron sticks. How are there no iron sticks? There's... <laughs> There's no fast inserter here to make iron sticks after I tried to move this whole thing. Uh, okay, how about we delete that. Have the bots pick up the iron sticks. That's not what I had in mind, but maybe it'll lead to a fast inserter up here. Oh, I see fast inserters. I don't know where they went. I see another one. Another five. Please place this fast inserter. No, I think they're all getting... Are they getting collected by... I don't see any fast inserters. They should be in some of these requested chests for filter and stack inserters. They just got made. Why are they not getting placed or consumed? And where did they go? We do have 399 construction bots available. This should be happening, like, immediately. We have thousands of logistic bots available here for some reason. Um, where on earth did these fast inserters go? Indeed. They're not being requested by this thing. No. That's so weird. I might have to get the construction spiders over here. What's this train trying to do? Drop off shells that we don't have. Now, now what's going on? We've got... Oh, this is passive provider. Hang on, what? Five seconds of inactivity. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's send our construction spiders all the way down... To the mysterious disappearing fast inserters place. Tell him, Grandmaster. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then we can finally get iron sticks and make inserters and get this whole thing, get this ball rolling properly again. Okay. Are we loaded up here? It looks like we are. 
let's head back to oops back to our build did I activate these stations yet I did why do we not have chemical gel we're requesting 120k we know the station works because uh, because the stone delivered here already. We've got at least 11k in each of these. It's not 100,000, that's why. How is it we don't have 100,000 chemical gel? I guess it gets pumped in here as a priority. No, we deliberately keep this a little bit empty. So this, all of this chemical gel is actually heading to our station over here. It's just that it takes an insane amount to get 100k. Okay then. Uh, I would still like to set keep the threshold at 100k, um, partly because we've sort of standardized it like that, and partly because um, it's just fewer train trips. Alright then. What's next after those two fluids? Um, we could definitely fit all of, well, we could probably fit all of these in one block. Maybe? That might be a bit ambitious, actually. No, we can definitely do it. Um, let's see how many inputs we need to support this. Solids, that is. 2.9... Oh, that's our output. We'll need to pick up, like, three different types of scrap. But what physical inputs do we actually need? A very small amount of uranium-235, holmium plate, electronic circuits, copper plate and blank data card, Less than half a belt of every single resource that we actually need. And that'll be enough to support... Um, to support Energy Science 1. So, I think... Is it four? One, two, three, four, five physical inputs... That's a little bit unfortunate. What's the slowest one? It's either Holmium Plate or Uranium. That is to say, they're about the same. Um, we could probably do... all of the physical inputs at a couple of stations. Since they're so slow. And then we can obviously reshape this a little bit to take more advantage of the space on the sides. Uh, bear in mind we need three stations for junk physical outputs. And four stations for the desired physical outputs. That's seven train stations. Um, I kind of want to get away from using the... Oh, we already did it here. Too late. I was going to say I kind of want to get away from using the precise loaders that can have problems sometimes. Um, how full is this? It's already half full. 
So we're going to have to set up smelting and or sending this back to Nalvis. Uh, we should definitely make uh, this a high priority station. How do we make purple, blue, and red? A bit darker than this, though. I want the same color as the active provider chest. That's pretty good. A little bit darker, I think. The actual train stop. There we go. So that's just shorthand to tell us we need to keep this empty as, as much as possible. Uh, we already did set the provide priority very high. Okay. Meanwhile, we do actually have our plasma generators, particle accelerators. Seems like everything's going to be working as soon as we finally get... Oh, is this it? That's light oil. And why is it 47,000? Light oil. Okay, that's very weird. I set the request threshold here to 100k, and yet we're only picking up 47,000 light oil here? Because this provide threshold is 25k, but if that's the case, why are we not picking up chemical gel? It's got the exact same pair of settings. Provide threshold 25,000. Request threshold... Oh! Oh, that's the light oil. Request threshold 100,000. And we're, our target is 120k. We definitely don't. 7.4 times 8. Yeah, we... Uh, we definitely don't have 100k in there. I don't understand. It should be one or the other. Um... Oh, it's because this has got a request stack threshold. Although, I find that a bit curious. So, we're going to set the request threshold to 100k. Uh, that should be with the request stack threshold as well, actually because we want the threshold to be smaller for the physical items. So now it has a request threshold for chemical gel, but it's 100,000. But presumably we're now going to get a train scheduled before it can pick up 100,000? Let's find out. It's going to take a few more seconds before we know. There it is. Chemical gel 95,000. The reason that we have to manually put a request threshold to make it deliver is because I set the default to a million. Because I don't want it to deliver something if we don't if we don't set a threshold. And yet, I put in a request threshold. Once that's actually there, even though we don't have 100k... Damn, that loads fast. Even though we don't have 100k, it still triggers a delivery. It seems the provide threshold is what counts there, but if that's the case, if it has a request threshold of a million and a provide threshold of 25k, why doesn't it just trigger a delivery with less than 100k in the first place? 
That seems very strange to me. I guess there's slightly different rules for the default threshold and a manually set threshold. Whatever the case, we are now very slowly making plasma stream because... Oh. Oh, I did the pipes wrong here. Good to know. Um. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Oh, no. This is even worse than I thought. Uh, we did the pipes all wrong, and the output here has chemical gel. Okay, let's pump that back that way. For starters. But also, I don't think we have room for the output. It needs to look like this. Um. Uh, I don't want to delete and replace this because of what we've already produced. That chemical gel is not cheap. So I think... Okay, the ones on the side have not had any chemical gel. We can remove those. And we'll get rid of the input belts. And... Probably have to do it like this. Let's see. Space belt, space pipe, rather. That can actually be a small one. Unless we want to use long arm inserters, we'll need these undergrounds on this side. Wait. Well, we could use underground uh, long arms, but I don't want it to take up that much space. Okay, so same thing on this side. Oh. Well, that was a mistake. I think for now we'll just not have those down there. Actually, how many is this going to be? Uh, 16, 32... No, we do need four more of these. If it's going to keep up with this. Okay. Which means the last insert is down the end are going to look a little sad. Substations can fit here very easily. And... Input belt. Of course that would just barely not reach now. There we go. Same thing on the other side. This goes here. Input pipe goes here. We need to... Is that a 15? Yeah, it is. Make that up like so. I think that'll look a little bit neater.
And then... Once this is finally empty... I kind of want to put some pumps to make sure that we don't tell LTN that we've got a bunch of plasma stream available and then it goes into ion stream. So to that end... Okay, first of all, pipe is going here. And we're going to need to connect those. That's unfortunate. I guess that's not going to look the same over here. Maybe it would have been better to connect those up here instead. It's fine. Probably. That's a decent fit, at least. Okay. Plasma stream goes brr. I think I saw inserters moving, which tells me this is working. Fantastic. Um, and then we just have to... I kind of want to make sure they produce evenly. Or we could just prioritize ion stream over the rest. We still have room to add um, more of this right here very easily, almost. What about on the other side? Not quite. If we move all of this over a bit, we could add like 50% to the plasma generator. Can we use picker dollies with these giant things? Yeah, we can. Alright, not going to worry too much about that for now in that case. Uh, how much chemical gel are we pumping out here? Zero per second, even though it's doing the animation. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this pump just so that we can separate this. Delete 3.2k chemical gel, really? How is there 3.2? It's in the pumps. Okay, let's put this one back for now. These, turn these around. And now there will be approximately zero chemical gel uh, in this pipe network quite soon. As soon as that stops draining, we'll delete the rest. Or will it actually empty completely? Now that we turned those pumps around. 180... it's getting slower. Okay. Let's send our spiders back for resupply. While we wait for a couple of things. Let's check on that rocket. I should probably just finally pull the trigger and send it. Don't know how much more stuff... 
needs to be requested at the moment. Uh, I'll just double check that there's room in our... Yep, definitely. In our landing pad. And away you go. Fantastic. And we are making space pack again, that's good. Let's check on those trains. Did any of them get stuck again? No, but they are now all hanging around outside of the mall. I want them all to park uh, at this mall, but only when only when the other uh, trash pickup stations are not available. But when I did it like this before, they all just hung around here. Let's see. It's going to take them a minute to park. Let's have a look at orbit. We're still... Uh, we're still draining the fluid contents from this side slower and slower. Okay. I think that'll have to do. Let's delete everything on this side. And... No, why did I do that? Oh, no. Why did I do... <laughs> After all that... Don't want to be deleting a whole lot of chemical gel. The more red signals you've got between the dummy station and the train helps it decide to go to other stations first. Usually I put up to eight before a dummy station, depending on how far away a legit station is by that same name. Uh, fair enough, but from what I understand, uh, a train stop counts as a thousand. But it doesn't seem to be working out that way right now. Um, let's find a trash station that... I don't know that we have any that are active right now. I don't particularly want to deliberately put something there in order to make that happen. Okay, we're actually very bottlenecked on sticks when it comes to the inserters, so... Uh, I think we will double that. As we receive a tsunami of green circuits. What if... If we have the signal on the wrong side here, so that train stop really is unreachable, does that help something? Uh-oh. Wait, what? Oh, because the signal hadn't been placed yet. That might be all it takes. Hmm. 
Okay, get rid of the ones on the right. With the wires. No path. Okay. That's not what we want. Uh, tsunami of green circuits, indeed. This is a little frustrating. I just want the I I just want vanilla trains to not stop dead in the middle of the tracks or go round in circles until the end of time. Is that so much to ask? All right. Hey, we actually Oh. Yeah, that's as empty as that's going to get. Okay. Delete 30 chemical gel. Do not connect that up again. You absolute... buffoon. Um, is this the same network? Yeah, we can delete this. Uh, I would love to connect this up, actually. If this is a 15, we could do... Three fives. And this can go. Oh, that's tragically short. This can go here, I guess. One, two. What if this was a pair of three? What if this is like a five? And that would be one short still. I could make it a seven. If this was a seven. And this was here. Okay. Uh, that's a nine. A Fifteen will still be too long. So it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Two fives and a three. Be a little bit neater and we wouldn't have these pipes so close together that it's a little bit confusing. Was it a seven? Yeah, it was a seven. spiders. Get down here. Oh, I sent them for resupply and completely forgot. Okay. Let's bring them back down, I suppose. And that should get done relative ease. Oh, I've also got a stack of life support now. Isn't that nice? Okay. So that's enough faffing about just for step one of energy science. Next is various kinds of data cards. If 
if we do all four of these, we have five inputs that we need. And there's so little throughput that I kind of do want to do all of these together. Um, that's about as small as the uranium gets. We have to consider that we need four, five, six, seven output stations if we do this. Kind of makes me want to just use uh, one or two train blocks for the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, there's really no harm in that, right? On the other hand, there's probably going to be a lot of... Uh, I don't want to say wasted space, I don't particularly care about that, but having tons and tons of empty space, even in the space rail blocks, is not something I really want. Alright. Good to see our inserters are actually getting built. Although it's really not as fast as I would like. I think... I think I might have to make inserters uh, something that we have some dedicated machines uh, to make in the mall. Although, they're not going that slow anymore. And I know we're resupplying. Oh. Oh, is this three different groups of spiders all mushed together? It is, isn't it? That's a little bit harsh. That's a bit easier to spot. Uh, signals go here. Did I place all of this yet? Good. Fantastic. We finally got both types of uh, plasma in the outputs. Beautiful. Alright, I would like to copy this blue color for our pickup stations. And I kind of do want to try to do the, um, all four of these in one block. This is a bit tall if we angle it this way, but I'm sure we could just wrap around that last data card. So let's say we do that, and this is basically in the middle. Uh, it still goes all the way down there. The thing is we need room for like seven train stations. If we combine some stations uh, for multiple pickups, it gets simpler. We could have two train stops um, down the bottom here. One for picking up three types of scrap and one for picking up four types of cards. We have had no trouble for a long time with incorrect pickups from our smelters. I was slightly scared for just a moment when I saw one of those trains sitting at the pickup, but no, it is working just fine. The only downside is we have to make sure there's uh, a very high 
provide threshold and there's going to be a lot of items just sitting there uselessly. But if we could fit basically this between there Yeah, I think we can do it. Let's try. So first of all, uh, easiest thing we have to deal with is this uh, this build. Oh, I need some scaffolding down here. How much are the spiders carrying? A bit. Not enough to get this done in one go. I'm pretty sure it's not enough to get it done in one go anyway. Nope. Oh, also... I completely forgot we even launched that stuff up here. Why do I not see it in the Robo Network? Novice Orbit Scaffolding is... Don't tell me there's another landing pad called Novice Orbit Scaffolding. That one's general. Where did our... If that's the case, where did our speed modules and stuff just go? I see blue circuits. No speed modules. Um, we did launch it. I do remember that. A thousand tier 3 speed modules were in this rocket. It's aimed at Nalvis Orbit Scaffolding. I thought there was only one landing pad with that name. Nalvis Orbit Scaffolding. Even if it missed? 1k speed 3s were in that block. Yes. Wait, we're in that block? As in one of the blocks we just built? I don't think so. We haven't placed any more... Oh, was it in a different... Different robo-network? Like the spiders accidentally... Brought them here somehow? I don't think so. Look at the logistic items list. Uh, oh, it is too. Fantastic. Alright, let's go pick some of those up, along with some more scaffolding. Also, it is about time I take a short break. Uh, so, I will be back in a couple of minutes or so. Whoops. In the meantime, do take care.
Okay. Seems we're still loading scaffolding. Let's speed that up a little bit. The bots are exponentially faster the shorter the distance they have to go. That'll just about do it. And we're done. Fantastic. Now then, spiders back to the middle of this, so they can build everything for me. Oh, almost forgot to get them to drop off all of those speed modules. Let's make sure they drop those off. Actually, I don't know if I made the spiders carry any speed modules. Yes, I did. Fantastic. One last thing to remember. So I think what we're going to do here is... Uh, blank data cards. Need to go to all four of these builds. Uh, we also need multi-spectral mirrors and uranium. Um, and between these two, we need iron, copper, holmium, and just blank data cards. So it's really one build that needs most of uh, most of the physical items, or at least times. Okay. So in that case, how do I want to lay this out? Electronic circuit, copper plate, holmium plate. This only needs something that's common to all of them. And then multispectral and uranium. Why don't we do multispectral and uranium here? Do the blank data cards up the top. Wait, there's also fluids. How many types of fluids do we need? I think it's just one. No, it's um, called thermofluid and ion stream. Hmm. And the slowest resources coming in are. Uranium and what? Uranium and Holmium Plate. What if we do Holmium Plate as a resource that we squeeze in next to the fluid, just like we did here with um, low density structures? So we'll do that maybe over here. Um, we're going to need fluid drop off on both sides. And then well, that's the thing, I wanted blank data cards to be on their own belt. Here we're going to have a shared belt for... Uh, for... Copper plate and green circuit. And then holmium. 
Well, I also need to figure out the actual layout of the machines. Probably not going to change very much from this. The second row is also very unlikely to change. Um, except that's rather long, isn't it? We could probably... We could probably make this half as long and twice as wide. Of course it has to be an odd number of machines. I think we'll round it up to, uh... to eight and ten, respectively. Okay, so what if we do... Uh... What if we do this? And... Rotating these things is always so weird. Cold thermofluid from the outside. Less cold thermofluid on the inside. I'm actually a little bit surprised we can make those line up on both sides. Okay. So what were we aiming for? Eight of these? I need to pick up some laser facilities, radiation facilities. We're still struggling to make the plasma generators. Twenty-two to go. Let's not worry too much about those for now. I would rather just make sure we have a bit of everything. Is a facility radiation facility? Uh, what were the other two? Electromagnetics and electromagnetic. Why do those? They don't look like they're the same size somehow. Probably because these are further apart, and also the particle accelerators being done here. So we need like 22 electromagnetic facilities. That's the wrong spot again. Um, electro. Okay. But I need to look here to remind myself of the recipes. Blank data card in, multi-spectral mirror in, and polarization data and two types of scrap out. I find myself saying this every time with space exploration, but filtered long arm inserters would be very useful. Uh, let's change this up a little bit. And this goes here. Input belts this way. I'll put a little constant combinator to remind myself. 
of what we need here. Maybe it would be better if... I don't think that's going to work. I kind of want to just use two belts here. If this was a short arm and these were closer together, this would have to go here. I guess this could snake in and out or something. No, that would go there. And we'd have an underground belt for the inputs. It would put everything on the same side of the belt for the trash outputs. Um, how much is eight of these going to spit out? Uh, very little. Very, very little. In fact, we could just put every output on one side of the same belt and then filter it after the fact. It ultimately makes no difference if you filter output to different belts to begin with, or put them all on the same belt and then uh, filter with the belts or something. Because you run into the same problem, um, basically you need to uh, basically you need to make sure you don't run out of space. Okay. So that and go go there. And since that's the end of the belt corner. Hold on. Since we're not since we're not filtering the outputs anymore with uh, inserters, um, I could have just done it this way. That would have been simpler. Okay. Much easier. Inputs here, outputs here. And then we need a pair of splitters. I think. It's three different outputs, isn't it? Uh, polarization data... Uh, junk data and scrap. Indeed. Maybe I should have... Uh... It would be more difficult and simultaneously more easy overall. If I had a rail block that dealt with every type of scrap and it all just got dumped into the same station or stations and then filtered and dealt with, it would make it a lot easier at the point of production 
to deal with multiple types of scrap coming out. Something to consider. Alright, so let's say polarization data. Um, can go here actually. Junk data cards and a scrap. Or something like that. Now then, uh, 10 radiation facilities. What's this filter for? Set filters, blacklist for what's in the chest. Oh wait, no. Yeah, yeah, set filters, blacklist. If there's anything in this chest, don't pick it up off the belt. And then the U-235 that gets recycled goes in here. And the actual output is over here. That makes a lot of sense. Um, why don't we just take a couple of those? And we can move these filter inserters here. That way we can use less space. Put the outputs down the middle like so. Yeah, that, that should be fine. Alright, and we were going for... 10 of these? I guess we could go for 12. No kill like overkill. Um, next we need a row of, let's say 12 electromagnetic facilities, four physical inputs, two outputs. We'll probably end up copying this design. Yeah, I don't see... What is this belt for? Oh, it's for taking the Holmium plate. That makes sense. Um... Yeah, I don't see improving upon this very much. Except we might shape it a bit different if we're going to put these together side by side. Let's see. Well, for one thing, we could put these slightly closer together. Um, surely we could merge those other belts somehow. How big is the spider's inventory? I think it's 80. Yep, 80. 
You can see when you point at a spider just under where it says enter the vehicle and working. 61 out of 80 there. Uh, so. We'll probably bring this a little closer still. And if we put a splitter like this, we can use both sides of the belt. That should be fine. It's a very generous amount of space. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean... If you want construction spiders to carry absolutely everything, it does get a bit tight. But it is a decent amount, to say the least. Absolutely. Okay, so... Is this our... Our layout? Uh, we'll do the same thing here, so... We want to use both sides of the belt. I'm surprised I don't recall coming up with this design before, actually. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. And how many were we going for? Twelve? Twelve. I like that layout quite a lot, actually. Two filtered belts of output. This is... We've basically invented a way to have um, long arm inserters. That have filters. I think just for the aesthetics of it, move that down a tile. I'm not at the stage where I have the spiders in SE yet, but yeah, I intend to use them for. Mostly construction and military purposes, indeed. Okay, that can stop there, that can stop there, and so on. And next one is... Uh, very straightforward, except takes up a lot of space because of the shape of the outputs. So we want 12 of these if we can. It also outputs junk data cards. Um, I don't know if I want to do this method of filtering it in this case. We'll see. Hmm. Uh, it would be a little bit easier to design this if we physically had those buildings here. Hopefully our auto crafter has already churned some out. I do see particle... Ex uh, there we go. Electromagnetic facilities. The results are actually pretty good. Yeah, considering the lack of logistic bots up here, I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how fast that's going. We're very low on blue circuits, though. Maybe I should have some... Oh, here they are. Wait. 
Have I already got those? Yes. Okay, cool. We are not that low on blue circuits. In fact, could have done this a while ago. Right then. So it's blank data card in, final product, and uh, broken. I, I keep saying broken, I mean to say uh, the other kind. Junk data card. One physical in, two fluids in, one fluid out, and one physical in. Two physicals out. So how can we make this happen? Um, I remember trying to rotate these so that this output could be the same between two of them. But it just doesn't work out that way. We have to have this particular repeating pattern taking up quite a lot of space. Uh, our target is 12. So if we can fit six of these vertically, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have too much trouble here. On this side... I don't think we're going to be able to make this symmetrical. If if both sides are facing it. We could do... We could do it like this. So the only thing that's different um, is on the outside the these two inputs are flipped over. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. question is what we're going to do with the belts. Can we copy what we've done here to make the filtered outputs work? Uh, if we use these long-ish space pipes, We only need one. We only need one inserter on each corner for these machines, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay, so let's say. Our desired product, if I can find it, electromagnetic field data, I believe it is, goes here, and that's going to look a bit like this, but not quite. So far, so good. And this one, like so. Obviously, we can get rid of that. I'll keep it here until I know what I'm doing with the rest of this. Uh, so... It was junk data card, wasn't it? I think 
this goes here. So this is junk data cards. This is junk data cards. And this is polarization, uh, sorry, field data. And this is field data. I think that's it. Okay. Substations go here. And here. And I think if we now copy paste this down. Why is that red? Because this belongs further up. Or does does it not? I am confused. What are we looking at here? Polarization data goes here. And this can go here. And now that we're thoroughly confused, um, I think I'm going to need to see these belts in motion and put something on it, make sure I don't uh, make the sort of mistakes one might expect here. Let's bring our spiders back for now. So it looks like... oh, that doesn't help either. It looks like wherever we have our common outputs, that's just going to look like that. Last but not least. Okay. After these ones, we have that. After these. We have this. And that goes there. I think we're getting there. So after scrap, this happens. Uh, junk data cards, rather. And after polarization data, this happens. And then we have one last splitter here. I'm not actually sure if that will pick up junk data cards from the last one. But yeah, I think that is our design for this bit. Obviously with just a bit more piping. I suppose this needs an input as well. I was thinking about joining the plasma stream there, but maybe not. Oh, hello spiders.
It doesn't seem like they brought any electromagnetics facilities. Possibly because I forgot to make them ask for it. Uh, yep. My bad. We also need laser facilities. Radiation facilities. And I think that's it for now. Alright. I think they might be carrying more plasma generators though. So that's something. We've almost got 200k ion stream. Basically no plasma. Fantastic, they actually finished that already. Alright, let's send them back up. Reunite with this poor guy. And back up to resupply land. Make sure we're not asking for a million plasma generators anymore. Fantastic. Okay. So the only physical input for this one was blank data cards, correct? Yes. Nice and easy. Oh. Uh, I almost forgot the part where this thing needs inputs. But I think we'll manage. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Okay. And then... We need to join up Plasma streams. Uh, I guess we'll use a lung pipe here. Maybe a couple of lung pipes for symmetry. Why is that? Oh, I see. Or do I? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. So we're going to need... Plasma stream to join up here. We're going to want cold thermo fluid to connect as well. Not bad. Oh. Did I almost forget we need more fluid inputs for this whole thing? Uh, let's see. No, it's just called thermofluid and plasma stream. Hold on, and ion stream. Well, that's no good. Where are we going to fit three fluid inputs? Uh, three fluid inputs and one fluid output, if I recall correctly. Uh, it's just these ones. Thermofluid and cold thermofluid. And cold thermofluid. Hold on. Oh, this produces. Okay, never mind. We're looking for the red ones. Um, cold thermofluid and ion stream and... Is that it? I think it is. 
Cold demo fluid and ion stream. Okay. So that wouldn't happen to line up very well. How much cold thermo fluid does this entire thing use? It's going to be slightly more, but only 60 per second, 143 iron stream per second. Okay. No worries there. And we don't have to make sure that we never fill the storage tank. Um, so two fluids in, one fluid out. And it was like seven physical things out. Uh, I know the physical items need hardly any throughput. Wait, what does it actually produce? I think that wasn't very fast either, was it? Uh, let's see. These add up to like one per second. And these add up to like 12 per second. Less than that even. Okay. So we're not going to need a lot of room for belts. We could actually have a multi-balanced loader for all of the... I'd need to do a sushi bell for that. What if we end up with too much of one thing compared to the others? No, I don't think that would work particularly well. So we'll... with the physical items... Wait, what? Oh, that... I shouldn't have flipped it. That goes there... goes there... Green stops go here. We could have two types of card on one side, two types of card on the other. We'll need a clever loader, that's fine. And over here, three types of scrap, I think it was. Scrap, contaminated scrap, and junk data cards. Scrap, contaminated, and junk. Mm. Well, this will have to be a high priority pickup anyway, because we're getting rid of scrap. Um, so we could probably do a little sushi belt multi-balanced loader for this one and it was just the one fluid out wasn't it just the uh 25 degree thermo fluid hey sigma b good to see you again welcome welcome hope you're doing well Uh, pumps. Oops. And... So for the multi... I don't have any filter inserters left. Uh, for the multi-balanced loader... Up to five items. Types of item, that is. Uh, all we need to do is you know it just occurred to me that um, if we don't fill the train the inserters will never stick out afterwards 
So if we set the priority high, which we'll be doing anyway, because this will be a... Um, uh, oh, damn it. This will be the type of pickup station that we try to keep empty. Um, yeah, if we set our our pickup threshold, our, our provide threshold considerably lower than one train load, as long as the train never actually gets full, we won't have the problem of having the inserters stick out afterwards. So we'll trade a little bit of train efficiency for um, for not having to do a super careful circuit here for precise loading. We'll just have it pick up like half a train load or like three quarters of a train load and completely load the train with whatever scrap, contaminated scrap, junk data card. And with that, all we'll have to do here is set filters from the logistic train stop output. And it's as simple as that. Um, where are we going with uh, standard pickup? We'll make the provide stack threshold 120. Long trains only. I guess it could be a short train actually, considering considering how slow the scrap is from here. Nah, it's fine. Um, and we will need to have a sushi belt so that we can balance load. How important is it to balance load these uh, different items? Not particularly, but... If we're loading three quarters of a train and we don't balance the loads at all, um, we could very much have a single cargo wagon or three cargo wagons full um, and then it, the train is waiting for the rest of it that isn't lined up with the cargo wagon that needs it. Um, I don't... Oh, really? I was trying to shift-click to tell the spiders to move. There we go. Let's bring you down this way. And over here. Alright, so the last remaining question is the shape of the inputs. Uh, we're going to have two... Uh, two inputs here. I think. The throughput that we need for any physical input here is very slow. Very, very slow. Less than half a... Less than half of a red belt for any given resource for the entire block. So we could probably...
We don't actually need to put multispectrals and uranium on the same belt. But how else do we take each, uh, both from each cargo wagon and bring them all together elegantly? We're not going to get... Okay, what if we do this? Two outputs for each. Something like that, maybe. And then bring them all together. We don't even need to use both sides of the belt uh, for each resource, actually. There's no reason to. So we can just... I think it would be better if we flip this one around. We can put multispectral mirrors together like this. Uranium together like this. And bring the other two together like so. Yeah, I like that a lot. If the inserter places onto here and this has a block filter on that side, what happens? I don't think I'm going to like it. Oh, that actually works just fine. Yeah, I thought we'd end up with some concrete here, maybe. Maybe if it was a long arm it would do that. Okay. So, uh, multispectral mirrors will come in here, and they go over this way. Uranium needs to go here and here. No junk output from that one. Fantastic. We also need blank data cards to merge with our our multispectral mirrors. Uh, let's do a balanced unloader of the combinatorless variety. Read hand contents hold. Everything has to equal zero. And read this bit of belt. Um, and I think I'll use red wire for the other one just to, well, okay, no, we should use green wire for the uranium. And we'll use red wire for its opposite just to keep it obvious. Just to make it more, uh, readable. These have the same settings because there's only one thing on each belt. 
nice and easy. I could run the uranium through here, honestly. Might be a bit neater. Yeah, I kind of like that. So that leaves blank data cards, copper plate, and green circuits. Copper plate and green circuits are going to be on the same belt no matter what. Um, blank data cards in total, we only need 11.68 per second. So we could put them up here. Link data card. And we'll borrow our usual design. For unloading two things together on half belts. So, copper plate, green circuit, copper plate, green circuit, copy, paste, paste, paste. And let's just double check that's actually what we need here. Um, Pretty sure I do have it down pat by now, though. Copper plate, green circuit. Oh, we also need Holmium plate. Wait, how many inputs do we need for this physically? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no. Um. Hmm. Well then. I could put Holmium Plate over here. Yeah, we, we could do that. Or I could make this one blank data cards, and this will be Holmium Plate, since that's going to be uh, over this side. Okay. Holmium Plate. Okay. So I think we will... take our green circuits and copper plate and send that over... Wait, what's the rate for each of these? I don't think it matters, but it's ever slightly, so, uh, slightly more... Uh, green circuits and copper plate than other things. So we'll do that next to the fast inserters. Nice and easy. I haven't actually settled on this being where all of the buildings are going to be, but so far it looks alright. Let's put this one here, I guess. Move these ones down a bit. Okay. Now, chromium plate goes in the long arm side for these ones. Well, first things first. 
Let's bring our blank data cards together. I wonder if I could... I think I've tried this before, actually. Yeah, we can't quite reach through there. Unless I were to get rid of some of these pumps, and it would take, like, two seconds to unload 100k instead of one. That might be better, actually. How did I do it before? I don't mind the look of that so much. Okay. Hey! we go. Thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Two whole months. Fantastic. Thank you. If I can continue to... Uh... Deliver. Okay, uh, so blank data cards. First of all, First of all, we need these to go somewhere. You can move middle inserters closer to the middle and you'll have space for the undergrounds. Let's see. Oh, this belt is already maximum distance. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we could do that, I guess. If that's the case. This would go here. Yeah, that works. That that works very well. I like it. Nice. Thank you. Talon Grandmaster. Thanks for the tip. And so now we're going to have our blank data cards merge over here, I think. Um... They're all fully close to the rail. It's not going to be as clean looking as I thought, but I do like the blank data cards coming out the middle here before anything else. Uh, let's put in a balancer. And I guess that just has to go there. Okay, so we can get rid of this. I didn't really like the look of that anyway. Whoops. Uh, that's not quite right. What's the best way? do this. Nope. Well, that would actually be fine, but no. I think it's just going to be like this. So that's going to be blank data cards and uh, multi-spectral mirrors. Here we need blank data cards and uranium. So once again, we need to merge those. Uh, we'll need to split. Let's move this. Oh, nope. This upper tile. Splitter goes here. It goes over there. And I would love for this to go down this way. 
Oh, that's the output, not the input. Whoops. Okay. That's fine. This looks better, actually. Cool. So far, so good. And blank data cards in this case go on the outside of this belt. Holmium. Um, can we actually just make this? We're only going to be using half a belt anyway. Can we actually... If this goes here, that can reach there. I don't know if this is going to be possible. It is. Should have thought of this before. Actually, let's double check again. Um... The entire thing uses only 11.6 or so blank data cards per second. So this whole thing wasn't necessary. Although it is informative for future reference that we can get uh, probably one belt instead of half a belt out when we do it like this. Uh, but yeah, I think I would like to copy... We don't need to worry about lane balancing if we're only going to do one lane. So we'll copy, paste, flip this. Change the filters again. To blank data card. Stack inserters go... Here. And that's it. We'll need a splitter here now, that's fine. Um, also... Chromium cable... Down this way. Well, I do want to merge it with the Holmium cable and blank data cards, but first, uh, blank data cards need to come over here. So we need uh, yet another splitter, I suppose. What's the best way to do this? Probably just like that. Yep, that'll do. Splitter goes here. And last but not least... Split there. And that should be it. Fantastic. Uh, okay, excuse me for just a moment. We need a short break. Uh, in the meantime, here is a train. It's heading back for depot, isn't it? Here is a different train.
Our train is still in motion. Alright. So I think I would like to power this up. And see if everything is actually lined up correctly. Um, I don't think I am unhappy with the layout of this whole thing. There's a little bit of spaghetti in the middle, but it's really not that bad. Uh, so yeah, let's activate our... Uh, drop off configs. Here we want blank data card. Uh, multi-spectral mirror. And uranium. 235. Oh, and also fluids. Um, what fluids do we need? Hold thermofluid. This one doesn't need any. Cold thermofluid. And cold thermofluid plus ion stream. Okay, so this one's obviously going to be the ion stream one. Um, and this is going to have cold thermofluid. Hold no my fluid. I haven't actually made a rail block yet. Uh making the various thermo fluids. But we'll at least be able to see if all of the items on belts go where they're supposed to. Uh so that should be fine. Here we have uh, Holmium plate, copper plate, and green circuit. Green circuit. And then we just need to configure these combinators. Uh, since we are also requesting a fluid, We're going to add a regular request threshold, 100k. Um, I wonder if the reason that we got fluids delivered... No, that shouldn't make any difference. I was going to say, because the station had things it wanted, which included the physical items that were below the stack threshold. I don't think that would make a difference, though. Okay, so. Blank data cards. What do they stack to? Uh, we, I think we have some chests with blank data cards here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. 50. Fantastic. So. Blank data card. Uh, make it a bit more than one train load. Actually, make it barely more than one train load because... Because we've only got, uh, got four chests to contain it. Uh, next is uranium. 235... That stacks to a uh, hundred, does it not? And multi-spectral mirrors, I'm pretty sure, only stack to fifty. Oh, I kind of forgot the minor detail that we were only using, going to use small trains for this. Hmm. If I don't want to change that, and of course we've already got the uranium on the way, um, I could 
leave this as is. For now. It's only 0 0.5 per second. The thing is, if we deliver multispectral mirrors only to here, and then we're not going to later deliver a long train of multispectral mirrors. We're either going to use short trains or long trains. Yeah, I think I'll just leave this as it is and we'll allow short trains for this station. Except then if we end up with like short trains dealing with data cards, it's probably fine. Okay. Multi-spectral mirror. Uh, we'll make the request threshold 50 times 40, 2,000, I think. Yeah, 2,000. So it'll be a short train bringing multi-spectral mirrors and uh, only enough to fill this much of one chest. But the mirrors will get where they need to anyway. Alright. Uh, since there's like four different things that can be needed at this station at the same time, I think we'll bump up the uh, train limit. It won't necessarily result in four train, like three more trains camping here waiting for this one to move. Because they have to take the time to go and pick something up first. Uh, so. What's left? Uh, that would be cold thermo fluid. Cold thermo. And... Aim for 120k. We won't see a delivery of that anytime soon because I haven't built a block to supply it yet. Uh, next is Holmium Plate. Uh, how much does Holmium Plate stack to? There was one of these that was a really weird exception to what I thought was the rule. Let me in plate. There we go. A hundred. So... Slightly more than one train load. And as for copper and green circuits, uh, we can easily fit a couple of train loads of each. Although... The throughput is so slow that I'm really not too worried about uh, triggering a delivery super early. That should be a negative. Okay. Uh, substations don't have anywhere good to... Oh, that's actually a great spot. Fantastic. Alright, there is our green circuits, copper plate, and holmium plate. All getting ready to be delivered at about the same time. This gives us an opportunity to see how this whole system works in terms of train traffic. Doesn't seem too bad. And what's this? Green circuits. That was blocked by that one a minute ago. Uh, maybe a depot here would be a good idea. Then they wouldn't be 
taking turns to go this way. Although we did just trigger a bunch of deliveries at exactly the same time. And these won't be the only train pickups forever. So I think that'll probably be okay. Don't know what that combinator is doing there. Okay. As for power for the rest of this stuff, that's looking a little bit messy. Doesn't need to, though. Remove a couple of cables. And... Voila. Seems like I never completely finished this build right here. Um... Okay, so all of our outputs are going down this belt. Total throughput for all of the outputs is really very low, so that should be fine. Now we need to start thinking about... Well, continue thinking about where our outputs are going to go. Um, all of the scrap type things are going to come down here. We'll have a... a balance loader that works with multiple items at the same time. I recommend the power comb mod, even though it's not perfect, it helps a lot with such untidiness. I have tried it before. Um, it was, I mean, it was kind of a rat's nest, uh, the area that I tried it on. But it really had trouble making it much neater. Uh, Ian Newer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we're going to set filters blacklist on these. And we're going to get a positive number for what's in the chest. If that was all that we were doing we would pick up just a little bit of each resource. However, we're also going to get the negative average of each item in the chests. And when you feed a zero or negative signal to set filters to a filter inserter, it will ignore it. So if we're below the average for whatever type of item, it's not going to pick it up. Uh, 25 degree thermofluid is going to need to be disposed of. And I feel like that just looks better. And let's see how easily we can connect that up to all of the other 25 degree thermofluid. There's none here. There is some over here. That is going to be 25 degree, isn't it? E negative 10. That's going to make things a bit more difficult. Um... 25 degree, 25 degree, negative 10. What if... What if we convert... Uh, okay, the science does consume all of these at the same rate, right? Except... Okay, no. I, I, I was thinking about converting the negative 10 to negative 100 uh, where we are already. Actually, this loop alone consumes... It takes in 10 and it spits out 10. Uh, how fast would 8 of these go? 
only 3.467 per second. Okay. So if we have some... Oh, it spits out 25 degree as well. That's not what I was looking for. Do we have some different recipes with these things that maybe... Uh, let me just play with that real quick. Actually, no, I won't play with that one. I think there's a hypercooler up here somewhere that I could maybe mess with. It's not going to break everything. It is going to kill 995 cold thermo fluid if I do that, though. Oh, I know what I can do. We've got some hypercoolers here. A El Pancho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Might be doing well. Uh, it might take a minute before the bots decide to construct that. 305 out of 306. I think that one is on its way. What? Are you the one? Anyway, I was just wondering if we've unlocked any... No, both of, both of the recipes, this one needs cryonite slush as well, but both of the recipes that spit out cold thermo fluid also spit out 25 degree. So I think what we could do here though, um, let me see how fast this is. Twenty six per second. So if we have just one um, hypercooling thing here, we can get rid of all of the negative uh, 10 degree cold thermo fluid here and convert it to the 25 degree thermo fluid, which we've already got an output for, and the negative 100, which is directly useful. Why do we have more uranium than... What? Oh. 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 I forgot to tell LTN what we've got in our chests. Uh, let's fix this side as well before... before things get a bit ugly. Alright, so that's that side done. And these are already connected as well. Okay. Um, what am I going to do with 9,000 extra uranium? I mean, if I send it back to the depot, it'll get put into the trash slots. I don't think we've got a trash train up here, though. Hmm. I have a better idea. It's not the best way to deal with things like this when everything is scaled up, but since things are relatively small up here still, this might be sufficient. I think I was too late, though. I'll take a bunch of uranium and just dump it here once the train finishes. You missed half of the inserted... Oh. That's weird. Yeah, I did miss half of the inserters at the bottom. Good catch, thank you. Alright. Are we actually... 
I think we do have room. Nice. That's not what I meant to do. Let's make sure this is balanced. And send you back to the depot. And that's that problem resolved. Okay. Uh, I would like to see multi-spectral mirrors and... Well, we don't have blank data cards. Uh, don't tell me we've got the same problem here with Holmium Plate. Where is it? It's already full. Okay. Did I... I, I thought it was already connected properly before the Holmium Plate arrived. Maybe I just didn't see that the Holmium Plate was there. Yeah, this is connected. Oh, I see the problem. Or a problem, at least. That's not going to be enough, though. Also, I just realized... Well, I was going to say we're going to need a balanced unloader for these chests if we're going to do it like this. But... As long as we don't actually deliver um, another train load until it's almost empty, that shouldn't matter. Okay. Is there anywhere else that already needs Holmium Plate that is fantastic? Why don't I get you to visit this station? And wait until empty cargo. And that should resolve that. Yeah, there's lots more than a train load of space here. Also, why are we empty on Holmium Table? Uh, did we not? Oh, that's why. Okay, I need to set up the trash trains up here. Because this isn't empty, we haven't sent another rocket. Uh, of Holmium Cable. I'm surprised we've gone through an entire rocket of it, though, already. That's, um... It's a little bit shocking. Alright. Um... So, I want this to be our hub down here. And to that end, I think I'll copy some of what I've done down here already. Uh, which is to say this. Now what this does is makes everything that's in the logistic network available to LTN. Uh, for short trains. And we also want to have a drop-off station I could just put it here, I guess. That won't actually fit. Unless I move this up a little bit. Hey, Imo. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No, I don't really like that. Um, why don't we just put it back here?
where the goods trickle down? What is that train track that circles at the top of the space base? Circles at the top of the space base? Oh, you mean this circle right here? Uh, yeah, train track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately... Uh, unfortunately, we can't quite... Actually, now that I look at it, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I could have done it like this. We will have a very slightly uh, angular cargo wagon, but I think that's going to be a bit better. A special loop, yeah. This was what we had to do to make those two connect. But I think we'll go for a slightly smaller exception here. Okay, so that just connects like that. Track goes here. I mean the signals. And that should be sufficient. I could add a couple more signals here, but I don't really think it's necessary. Actually, I can't put anything here because we can't get the signals looking at each other from the opposite side. Alright, that looks a bit tidier, I think. We will have a very slightly angular cargo wagon when low-density structures are picked up. Is the signal far enough down for the locomotive? It looks to be higher up. That might be a good point. Let's check. Uh, it is just enough. Bonk. Doesn't that need an entry lane as well? Uh, true. Yes, it does. Let's make sure we put it down there and don't forget about it. It's over here, isn't it? Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so... We need a... We don't... We need an actual proper spot for the trash train. I hate that this is the closest we can put this, but... I could put rail down here, I suppose. Uh, this is fine, at least for now. Okay, but uh, I will move this back a little bit. One, two, three. Signals. And... That won't cause a train to stop here, blocking this one, will it? It won't as long as there's only one trash train. Uh, do we have more? Oh, yes, we do. More locomotives. Fantastic. We'll need some rocket fuel. 
don't love the positioning of this substation. I guess I'll have to do. Rocket fuel. Do we have any? We do not. Um. One thing I want to do, but I haven't really figured out yet or at least not without way too many combinators, is how to have it so that trains will bring in, for example, rocket fuel to this logistic network, but also everything from the logistic network is available for pickup from trains. But there's a certain... Uh, there's a certain threshold. I, I would like to have different amounts, different thresholds for different resources, but mostly... Obviously if I have a provide stack threshold of one here, trains will come to take those items from the logistic network. Uh, I want short trains to bring rocket fuel to here, but I don't want them to take all of it. I guess I could just make a... I could just make this a lower priority pickup. Yeah, that might get the job done. And I did set this to be permissible for short trains. Request stack threshold 160. I don't think so. Uh, it depends. I'm not actually using this station for anything yet. It's fine. Okay, so we're going to request some rocket fuel. And I'll have a think about... Well, I have been thinking about how I want to do different inputs and outputs for these mall blocks. Oh, seven of our eight... No, six... Six of our eight trash pickup trains are saying destination is full. This actually seems to be working as intended now. Except maybe I just haven't caught any of them stopping in the middle of the track. Also, I don't love the constant purple spam of destination full. All right, uh, this is going to be trash drop off. You are going to pick up and drop off all of it. And I think I already set it up so that These have a train limit of zero unless they've got something to pick up. All right, cool. There's our rocket fuel. Oh. So this stuff will end up being brought back to the mall. And the things that are in the mall are available for pickup from the logistic network by LTN. Uh, I guess the next thing we need is we need a block that is going to consume our cargo rocket sections and space capsules. 
So anything we want to send back to Nalvis, uh, we are going to want to send cargo rocket sections and space capsules back to Nalvis. But besides that, uh, we're going to want to set up some supply lines to send things back to Nalvis, um, if only to get them out of the way up here relatively soon. Are you going to break down slash recycle stuff from the mall? Um, like what? Oh, you mean like, like how you can break down the space capsules, for example? I was just recycling them indefinitely, but... Um, we've kind of actually reached the point where space capsules are totally saturated. I should make this a lower priority pickup, though. Priority. Negative 10. Drop-off needs inserter to empty train. Drop-off needs... Oh, well, that's true. Um, we'll do a stack inserter. Okay. I may as well do a few. And with that, we have our Holmium cable again. Uh, we've also got solar panels on the way, once that one gets sorted out. And we never actually got aeroframe pole. Oh, yes we did. We've got like seven train loads of aeroframe poles almost. I'm surprised we got... I guess we got one delivery of aeroframe poles. And this is now stuck, just like the others. Alright, cool. That will continue... I don't know how many solar panels we've got left up here. Uh, lots. Or quite a few, anyway. That'll continue our production of tier 2 flat solar panels. Which is one of the first things we'll want to be sending back to Nalvis. Um, I do already have a rail block that we designed. It's got seven cargo rocket silos. The only thing I might want to change about this is we could probably produce the liquid rocket fuel somewhere else. I don't see a whole lot of room for improvement other than that, except for the fact that uh, for a long time I very much regretted using belts for space capsules. Once we had more than one of these uh, blocks, and it was taking a very long time for the space capsules to fill the belts, um, that didn't seem like the brightest idea, but now that it's all saturated, uh, there's really nothing wrong with it. I guess there's no harm in copying this bit as well. Is there anything I really... what's this? If cargo rocket ready to launch signal less than seven this becomes a higher priority so we get the space capsules delivered that's sensible yep 
Yeah, I don't think I actually want to change anything about this block. So... Do I want to build that here, or is there any reason... I kind of want another depot here so that trains have a shorter trip to get to these pickups and don't, like, block each other. So we'll do that. And we'll have way more capacity for trains than we need for quite a while. If you put the cargo rockets next to each other, they act like huge pipes, and rocket fuel can flow between them. Maybe you can squeeze a few more silos in that block? Maybe. A Majagus? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. City blocks in space? City blocks in space. Uh, honestly, I don't... I wouldn't want to do it any other way. What with all of the... multi-directional inputs and outputs with the space science. We've got, like two tiles between each of these and it takes ten tiles. Six, eight, ten. Okay, but we're pretty much already at capacity or we could squeeze in one more train station here. Yeah, you may be right. We might just get this to eight cargo rocket silos per block. All right, let's uh, see if we can do it. I will start by copying the build that we've already got as a template, uh, as a guide. Um, my robo ports are crying a little bit. Where are our spiders? Let's get them to lend a hand. Can you somehow convert the regular rail blueprints to space rail? I've had to manually build the same layout and verify it by overlaying the ground blueprint. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but there is on the Discord... Uh, Man had it posted something called Cyberchef. Uh, it's not in the game, but it's a... It's a website that'll let you paste in paste in the blueprint strings and have it convert bits of them, like uh, convert rail to space rail. All right, we have a severe lack of logistic train stops at the moment. Can you use the upgrade planner in the blueprint? No, I'm afraid not. Uh, so where do I want to put... I think the... F hmm. I was going to say I think the first place I'll put the, uh... Rocket launching system is right near the landing system. But... Well... I was going to say that there's a hazard because rockets crash occasionally. But I haven't seen them actually destroy something with one crash. Um, also, I think the cargo rocket silos have 8,000 health, it turns out. That is... that is a lot. Ten times as much as rail. Yeah, I, I think I'm not too worried about that, actually. Although, it's not like trains are going to pick up this stuff and take it directly to the cargo, uh, cargo rocket silos. So it doesn't matter that much. I think we'll just start down here. Um, let's pick up some more scaffolding. And 
and we'll make a start. Also, that hypercooler that I ordered. Yeah, that's telling me exactly what we already knew. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, I do want to put a hypercooler down here. And we'll have that deal with all of the negative 10 degree fluid directly. Uh, let's see if I can line it up somewhere where the outputs are going to be convenient. That looks pretty good. That looks very good, actually. Cool. I th think since there's nothing in the way here, I would like to use uh, seven pipes to connect these. And then we need the 25 degree thermofluid to make its way all the way down here. Okay, well, we haven't finished designing this block just yet, but this will be all the reminder I need for that part. Hey, Mess. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rockets from Nervous to Orbit, like, never crash. I launched 8,000 rockets so far in my game, and I can count in one hand how many times they crashed. Alright. I do have to have something in place to automatically deal with a crash, though. There's a lot of cargo rocket sections that we've had to pick up. So how many do we have here already? Uh, eight? We've already had at least eight launches up here. 530 cargo rocket sections, jeez. That's more than 10 chests full of cargo rocket sections are here already. Just from these four... Uh... Well, there's more still, actually. And it's only three. Well, I, I stand corrected, sort of. It's still picking up just the uh, cargo rocket sections and stuff from Holmium Cable. They did collide with a, collide with a train. Yikes. That's a train wreck and a half. Okay, let's start by grabbing our existing block. We'll need to pick up some cargo rocket silos, eight to be precise. I think we might have some up here somewhere. Uh, let's check. Cargo rocket silo. We have seven. How ironic. Um, I guess I could handcraft one more. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's going to be fun doing the belts all over again as well. All right, but first of all, let's see about... Wait, if I put them this close together, can I get in here to ride the rocket up? I guess I can probably cheese it with the jetpack regardless. Also, I don't actually need a rocket to get back to Nalvis, which is what these are going to be for.
Also, also, if we really want to, we can rotate the whole thing. Although I'm not really a fan of that. So this is six. Um, seven. And eight. Let's get some rail. It's pretty obvious where those bits of rail go. Whoops. Uh, why don't I do the straight parts first? And then just copy these bits. And then... I might, I might have actually tried this before. Can we fit one more of these, like so? Um, yeah, we can. I mean, we can definitely fit it up there, but what's the signaling going to look like? And that'll be fine, actually just have to put this here. Yeah, that's more than fine. That's perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That is smart. Wait, what's smart? What happened? We also need to redo the space pipe. Um, I wonder how I did this before. Probably. Oh, we've only got five tiles that we can jump over as well. But fortunately, that will be all we need. Fantastic. Fitting that extra one is smart. Stop, stop doing so smart. Uh, okay. Um, we'll need rocket fuel. Wait, how fast is this? There's no sp Oh, there's no beacons up here. Um, does this use a beacon? Where is it? It does. That's why we had them around here in a circle. Well, rip beacon. Um... We can't use productivity modules up here either, so... What's the speed of this? Crafting speed 2. Crafting speed 2.2. .2. Okay. That's fine. I was going to say this might make a strong argument for producing the liquid rocket fuel somewhere else. Um... But since it's going to be even faster, we obviously don't need to worry about it. That is correct. It was meant to be a joke, oh well. Okay, no worries. Um, I think I know what this is going to look like, but I'll just double check. Wait, what? I had a 90 per second output for the, um, 
bug of rocket sections, and then I merged it all into half a belt. Smart. And we only need one belt for the solid rocket fuel. Okay. Let's do this a little bit more sensibly this time. side as well. I don't think that's going to connect to the wires, is it? Nope. I should really stop carrying wires. I've got it down to muscle memory to switch to the uh, navigation satellite to get free wires. Um, okay. Tempted to I want to allow both long and short train actually are we going to have I feel like we're probably not going to mass produce um cargo rocket sections in space. For one thing, we don't get the productivity modules, but for two things, um, we've barely started up here, really, and we just, we, with our research into rocket reusability, um, or is it survivability? No. Cargo pods? I thought one of these reduce uh, increased how much how many cargo rocket sections we get back. There it is, rocket reusability. Yeah, we're actually getting so many cargo rocket sections just from having stuff sent up here that it's like a problem. Um, I think we can probably just make it so that short trains bring this stuff. The alternative is we need to load cargo rocket sections into the long trains using the robot network, which um, I do have a prototype for that down here. Oh look, it didn't work properly. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised that this version ran into trouble. So, the way we're doing it here is... Uh, first of all, there has to be a lot of whatever resource in this robo-network before we allow trains to pick it up. We subtract what's in the train from what the train is asking for. We get rid of the encoded positions, etc. We then say we then say if there's more than 800 items left to load onto the train, set the uh, set the stack size to 12. Otherwise, the stack size is going to be 1. So that green wire with the filter that we're setting for stone just goes directly to the stack inserters. Uh, it also goes to the input for this thing. And we output 1s if anything's greater than 800. We output 12s if greater if anything's greater than 800. Stack size is 1. Um, so the idea is... The, the trouble with this 
bit of trying to load a train like this uh, is if there's more than one cargo wagon, we can't read what's in each individual cargo wagon. And if loading them gets out of sync, uh, we're going to have a problem and we're going to end up with the inserters sticking out at the end. If we, if we use the usual precise loader uh, system. So what I tried to do here is, okay, if we just set the stack size to one, it's going to take a year to load the train, but it will never get jammed like this. Um, where the train is looking for 8k stone, but it somehow got a little bit of sand put into it to begin with. Um, so my idea was, can we mostly load the train and then switch to a stack size of one? I thought setting this to like 400, that is um, 400 items remaining to be loaded into the train, would be overkill to make it work consistently. Um, one of the main variables here is how how evenly the bots fill out these requester chests. Because we, we need those to be full at the same time when the inserters start swinging. Can you add filter inserter to pull out items that aren't the item you want? Uh, yes, but... The problem is, the logistic train stop output gives us a signal for what the train is supposed to have put into it, but unfortunately it also gives us a signal for what's in the train already when the train arrives at the stop. And if we do have inserters sticking out just like this, this little bit of stone right here, um, a train will come... It will come in. Yeah, here we go. We're going to get a demonstration. Uh, what I believe happens is... It's actually stone this time, so it's not going to... It probably won't cause a problem. But I think the stone gets put into the cargo wagon like a tick or two before what's in the train gets measured by the logistic train uh, system, the, the logistic train stop output is going to have a signal for, for what was already in the train. And there's, programmatically, there's going to be no way for us to tell what is supposed to be in the train. Unless perhaps I... I could set... I've actually got a circuit somewhere that NG made that is... Um, it gives us the maximum of a set of signals. That was my bad attempt at it. Uh, yeah, I think these nine combinators up here... So, if we can tell which signal is the maximum... Oh! Wait. What if I just set filter blacklist... If, if it's as easy as this, I'm going to be a little upset that I didn't think of it before. We're just gonna set filter blacklist to take things out of the train. It might be the case, though, that... Okay, in the example with stone and sand... 
we did have the signal for stone to load these, but that's just arbitrary signal ordering. Um, I don't know if that's going to work. But let me try this, at least. Set filters blacklist. No, we can, yeah, we can set filters blacklist, and we can add, we can add a bit of logic in between here to get the maximum of those signals, so that if that were to happen, except... If we're doing this right in the first place, that should never happen. No, that's not that's not quite right. So what happened previously was sand was sticking out after the train had left. Train comes in, looking for stone. It gets a little bit of sand put in. And then it was never able to fill up with stone because the sand was in the way. Um, by luck, the stone signal was a higher priority, so if we had this layout it would have fixed it. But... Yeah, I think we have to add the uh, max function. I think the input is there and that's the output. So, once the bots put that in place, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, in order to avoid having to worry about that, what I could do is just only use small trains for this. So these uh, cargo rocket silos will share fluids um, without me doing anything, right? As long as I put the pipe connection into one of them. I wonder if that's going to line up here. So oh, perfect. I think that's it, right? No, that's one tile off. This is it. Yeah, that should do the job. Okay. So, cargo rocket sections go there. Um, space capsules. Go here, actually. Space capsule on the right side of the belt. And that's pretty much it. Oh, we also need uh, this particular cargo rocket silo to receive some fuel. 
probably best... Oh, this one's not lined up the same. Okay. Picket dollies will let us move that around if... Uh... If it's still a ghost. Wait, we're missing a inserter here. Isn't space capsules better with a request a chest of one at each silo? Yeah, if you want to use bots. But we've got so many... Like, that's what I would have done in hindsight. But we've got so many space capsules lying around now that I'm just not worried about it. Um, like, here's where we're producing it. It's completely saturated everywhere. Um, okay. So we can connect this here. Yep, that should do it. Actually, I kind of want to do it down here. So it's not jumping over that belt there. And now for the least fun part. Uh, we need to recreate these belts. Alright, so the top right one goes to the top one. And we do have two belts for each of these. Wait, how did I...? I used the usual unloader for that. Do we have room? Yeah, we do. What? Wait, do we? Right, 90 per second. Yeah, just, just barely. Nice. Okay, so we're obviously going to have to move this one a little bit in order to fit our... Uh... Our balanced unloader. Let's just get rid of these substations for now. They're confusing me. And the left side. Wait. This might be a bit different. So the top... The, the right side ones go to the top three. Don't necessarily... We might have room to do one more like this. Um, yeah, we have exactly room to do one more like this. This lines up the same way, does it not? It does... We have stand alone pump that does nothing. Don't know if that's right. Stand alone pump. There is a reason for this. Uh, although I don't know if it actually works. The idea is we leave some empty space in these storage tanks, and if we want to change the destination for one of these rockets, um, and it's its destination requires more fuel. The fuel will get spat out into these uh, storage tanks instead of completely wasted. Next to rocket silos in space. Next to rocket silos in space. Oh sure, that's not the right place yet. Actually... 
the pump would have to go here if we're going to do that. But yeah, when I, um, uh, when I actually tried to use that, when we were changing the destination from somewhere really far away, um, it didn't seem to work that way. Okay. For the rest of these, we're going to have a lane balancer. Actually, is that even necessary? Let's have a look real quick. On each belt, we have four stack inserters picking up. I don't think we need lane balances this time. Which makes this one a bit easier to deal with. Okay. One belt, two belt. How high up can we go here? This goes... That doesn't look right. What did I change? That substation is in a different spot. Okay. In that case, where am I? Let's just get rid of these for now. This is going to look like this. One, two, three, and maybe four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There should actually be another one down here. In which case, uh, to make this look a bit neater, I think this works better. Probably. Okay. If this one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here. Take care, Whiskers. Thanks for hanging out. Need to move the underground pipe on the right. Yes, indeed. I guess this is going to be... Oh, I may have almost spoke too soon there. Do we have room? One, two, three, four. I think we can just barely pull it off. This one might be a bit different. Okay. Yeah, this should be relatively easy. Obviously, I might fill this out with undergrounds later to make it look a little better. 
Uh, that goes up there. And number four. Fantastic. Alright, so let's grab a left side. Unloader. And we're going to put this one here. Same thing down this way. Don't tell me that just barely doesn't reach. Uh, yuck. We also can't have this part do a nice repeating pattern. Maybe if we do it like this. That'll be just enough. Okay. And the third one is probably going to be even uglier. Wait, that doesn't reach, does it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no. That does reach. That does not. I guess this is the least bad look. I can kind of live with that. Kind of. I need some spiders to fill this out. Where are they? They're right there. Okay, go back and get some more scaffolding, please. And... As for these belts... Hmm... I could probably live with that. Maybe. Is that a consistent... Yeah. jolt that we keep getting. Let's 
suppose that'll work. That doesn't look so bad. Wait, what? What are we undoing? That was weird. Close enough. Actually, wouldn't it be better if the belt came from the middle of each of these? Uh, maybe not every time, but I don't like the inserters facing a corner. This one obviously has to come from the top. This one does not. I think I dislike this less. And this one. be room for that one. Oh, just barely. Oh, no, not quite. Quite as bad as it might have been. Let's move this down. Ugh. I don't like that. Let's keep that one in the middle as much as possible. See how this lines up. Uh, in that case, that looks much better, I think. Alright, cool. So, I think it's about time to go pick up those cargo rocket silos. Um, also, I need some logistic train stops. So this is requesting... I have no combinators. Nothing but space capsule. 
Okay. I'd like to copy that color scheme that we've started using. Uh, train is already coming. No. That did not take long at all. Okay, why don't I just do it this way? Zero one five five two five five. And zero one five five two five five. So we know at a glance that these are requesters. Uh, we've got our rocket fuel on the way already. And let's... Actually, I haven't decided how this bit of belt is going to look. I guess a splitter here. Oops. And then down here. I hate making them pick up from corners. It's, uh, not something that's going to matter here, but still. Sometimes it does. Let's just have our belt sneak around like this. One more. Actually, I think it would look a bit cleaner if... Oh, there's a substation in the way there. That's fine. Long train on small station. Indeed. Uh... Alright. I need some chests. Where are my spiders? Do they have chests? They do not. Alright, I'm going to need to make some. I'm um, going to take a really quick break. Be right back. And... In the meantime... Here are some bots.
still going. Oh yeah, they just were getting started. Okay. So we need to change our maximum train length to 3. Stack threshold is 40. Uh, that means 40 cargo rocket sections. Actually, no, we want like almost as many as we can fit here. So that is 48 times 6. 288. But we need to leave some slack. Otherwise, LTN's gonna like overfill it. So let's call it 220. Actually, make it 200. That's uh, five train loads. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, our short. Oh, 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 timing. Jeez. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you just delivered one capsule? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was alarming. Um, we need more chests. Okay. Let's go... Oh, I've already got some steel on me. Never mind. Fantastic. The bots didn't put them all somewhere useless to start with as well. Alright, next... We seem to have a... Oh, that's what it is. So all of these are set to read hand contents hold. Everything has to equal zero. We also read this bit of the belt. That will give us a balanced unload. We also need to change our requests for rocket, uh, solid rocket fuel. Um, ten times what we're doing for the, uh, cargo rocket sections. Okay, that should just about do it. Away you go. And we need some spiders to... Lay out the belts. Fantastic. I need to go pick up the cargo rocket silos as well. And I need to handcraft one of them. We've got exactly seven of them way up here somewhere. Alright. Liquid rocket fuel go burr. Um, spiders go place whatever you can place. Including this. Going to need some substations. Seeing a surprising amount of this drop off. Multi and train stop goes here. We'll need a left side unloader. Lee, can we fit that there? Not even close.
manage to avoid that mistake that I keep making with the backward belt when I do this. Um, okay. I'm going to have to make this turn right as soon as possible. Feels weird physically placing down belt again. Actually, I wonder if it would look neater if I do it like this. Eh, kind of. As opposed to this belt snaking around. Okay, let's ride our spiders back to resupply. Also, I should get some automatic production of life support. Uh, life support canisters. Coal, water, and empty canister. Processing unit plus secure canister. Heat shielding, glass, copper, steel, plastic. That's a little bit of a nuisance. Also, how many different machines do we need? Uh, we need a... anything. And then life support facility times two. Mm -hmm. So we can obviously get the auto crafter up here. Um, to make the empty canisters, the secure canisters. We need to supply the resources to do that first. Let's put this up with our combinators. Why is it not trying to make secure canisters right now? Oh, we turned this off. That's why. Okay. Uh, I just want to confirm... that that can make the secure canisters, yes. So then we need a couple of... whoops. Get you to follow the leader again. We need a couple of life support facilities. We can only make one right now. We're missing LDS. Let's go for a ride up here. Oh, and away go a couple more combinators. Will our bots catch up with us? They're half empty already. They will not. Okay. Back to storage again, really? Alright. Ooh, that's a bit of thunder. Right then. At least we've got our sink for the moment for um, space capsules and cargo rocket sections. So there's our aeroframe poles. Fish means we haven't used this one yet. There's our solar panels. And holmium cable. And for what reason are we currently... What? Um, 
Why? A hundred and twenty K lubricant is what we're asking for. This can fit two hundred thousand plus a little bit more in the pipes. Our request threshold is a hundred K and the um, so it should only schedule a delivery for lubricant when there's 20k or less i the constant combinator is switched on we are connected to here so ltn knows how much stuff we've got I can't see a single reason why it would do this. <sighs> I could add some storage for the lubricant, I guess. That really bothers me after, after leaving so much slack. This train is almost full. It's got 92,000 left. So when we had like 192,000 lubricant in here, it scheduled a train to deliver 100k when we're only asking for 120k. Why are the trains stuck there? Because this one wants to go here. This one wants to go here, and the trash pickup train is also confused again, which is a little bit of a surprise. Um, for some reason our balanced loader... Maybe I was right before when I said that allowing each cargo, uh, allowing each chest to go a little bit ahead of the average snowballs out of control if the throughput is not that high. I don't suppose I can use even district, no. Okay. So we need to rebalance the scrap uh, so the scrap train can get out of the way of the LDS train, but what what I'm really annoyed by here is there's absolutely no reason, especially so egregiously. Um, LTN shouldn't be scheduling a train to go there unless we're getting really low on lubricant. Originally, I wanted to set up all the stations so that they would eventually be very full. But I stopped doing that because things like this would happen. And yet here we are anyway. Alright, have I got my cargo rocket? No? Been here a while, have I not? Um... It says we've got seven cargo rocket silos in the robo network. And I remember changing my request. Cargo rocket silo. Logistic requests disabled. Good job. Okay, that explains that mystery at least. Um, I'm going to need a thousand... Where is it? It's down here, isn't it? A thousand concrete, a thousand steel, more radars. Already got the five radars. Um, oh, I need five more radars. Uh, some pipe, double the processing units. Uh, 
how much pipe was it? A hundred? I think I'm already requesting a hundred pipe. 200 big electric motors, 200 big electric motors, um, I should probably get the automatic system to start making some of these as well. That's going to take a while, but hopefully it'll be done by the time we want to make another one of these blocks, I'm sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that just leaves radar and steel and those two things I already requested. Okay. Uh, steel is... I'm already requesting a, a thousand steel right now. Right then. At this rate, I'm not going to have room in my inventory. While the bots are bringing me that stuff, let's check on something else for a quick change of pace. One and a two. And one more for this group. Since I might want to send them somewhere. Let's bring you over here, and over here. Anything I should be building on now f Oh, no. Okay, it's fine, actually. There's just no radar here. I thought the whole thing had been destroyed. For a second there. Uh, let's put our radar... Since it tends to attract biters, put it behind the strongest bit of wall. Actually, put it down here, because they would... If they were going for the radar, they would have to run past all of these turrets. Alright, cool. How close are we to... I just need 700 more steel. Let's go pick that up ourselves. Or at least stand next to it. There we go. And now I think I will... Drop some of those requests back down. Like a couple of hundred steel. Uh, don't really need 200 big electric motors most of the time. Or 200 processing units for that matter. That'll be fine. I don't want to leave the locomotives here, though. Or the space belt. Or that steel. Or holmium cable. Or anything, really. Let's head back down. Alright, 
while that's happening. Um, unfortunately, if this is going to have happened once by now, then I really should set up a system for putting fluids back into the network. The adorable pitter-patter of an army of roving spiders? Yes, indeed. Okay, you can stop there. Until I figure out what to do with you. Yeah, it's little things like that, little things like this that prevent me from really strongly recommending LTN, unfortunately. Uh, what's that blue color again? 0155255. Red for the provider. Oh, that's right. I need to... I need to rescue the scrap train again. And now that we've set the inserters here to strictly load balance, um, that should probably not happen again. How quickly are we going to go through this lubricant, anyway? 85 per second. For the short term, I think I'll just add some lubricant storage here. Destination full, that means the trash pickup. None of them have a train limit greater than zero. Right then. Rebalance all this again. Don't know if that's going to be enough to fill the train. Looks like it is not. Actually. Wait, what? Hold on. There wasn't enough scrap here to fill the train in the first place, but it scheduled a delivery here for to pick up 8,000 scrap. Now I'm getting really confused. Provide stack threshold 160. Uh... Request stack threshold 160. It... It shouldn't have... It shouldn't have sent a train if we don't have enough scrap to fill it. That is concerning. Also, why did the train go up and back around like that? And it could have gone straight forward. Yeah, it could have gone a really straight path from there to there. Oh well. Let's add that storage that will fix things for now. Uh, actually, I should put this one tile higher. Put an underground here. Pump goes... Where, where are my pumps? There we go. Pump goes here. I'll get our 
brain to drop off the lubricant again. You're kidding. What? Now the Holmium cable train has done exactly the same thing. How much Holmium cable do we have here? 2.4k times... Well, let's find out. 28,000 Holmium cable. We requested 20,000. And we're sending... We've got 28k in here, plus 6.6k in this train. Is the cabling perhaps messed up? It's... it's not. What is this... oh. Hold on. I'm just gonna disconnect that bit, because it's a little bit confusing looking. Yeah, no, the the cable definitely connects to all of the chests and storage tanks and the logistic train stop input. It was maybe 16k, then requested 8k and got overflowed. We can fit 28k. And I only requested 20k. And the request threshold is 8,000 because it's a request stack threshold. Um, 100k is too large for it to ever send a train, so it's going to use the request stack threshold. So that's two separate resources that it's sent to this station that have just been massively over-delivered. Put it on a power pole to read the signals. There it is. Um, lubricant was, we're asking for 120k, and it sent a train that would push it up to, like, 290k. Holmium plate, we're requesting only 20k, and somehow we have 23,000 as well. It's a little bit annoying. Like, what am I supposed to do here? What am... what did I... I've been doing this for ages. This sort of thing has worked before. So why now? It's not because we have a train limit of greater than... greater than one. What's this doing? It's trying to deliver over here. And this is looking horrendously full as well. Iridium plate stacks to 40. That should probably not be 20k. Um, how much iridium plate do we have here? 18,000. How much fits in a train? 6.4k? 6.4k. So we want, like, um, we can fit three train loads and a bit. So 6.4, it's actually, 20,000 is actually about right. Although it's a little risky. Um, so how much have we actually got here? 18,000. Okay, but the the, requ the request stack threshold is 160. If we have 18,000, it absolutely should not be sending another 6.4 thousand. The scrap train is back even though the station is empty. What? I haven't had issues with my multi-item LTN stations. 
although I never combined items and liquids in one station. I don't think it's because it's a multi-item station. We've done those before, and we're also not having issues with the other ones that we've made more recently. I... I can't even fathom why... Or did I... did I just tell it to go earlier? I'm gonna give that one a pass because I'm not sure if it... if I did something. But... Whatever is happening here, I don't like it. Um, we're asking for one and a quarter train loads of glass with a request threshold of a full train load. And we have more than two train loads of glass. Why? Something seems messed up in that block, given that multiple stations are doing the wrong thing? Yeah. Request stack threshold. Train length. Limit trains. Request threshold because fluids. The request threshold is too high to make a difference to these. Because the request threshold is way more than a train load. The request stack threshold is one train load. But uh, for low density structures, we're asking for one and an eighth train loads. There's no LDS here right now, so as far as we know, that's not doing anything weird. Spaceman, everything is different up there. Maybe the magnetic field screws with LTS. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try setting all of these to barely more than one... Um, train load. Uh, I guess 9k should be fine for this. How do I even... Like, lubricant... It hasn't done the same thing with um, chemical gel. Maybe it's only a matter of time. I set that to 110k. Maybe that makes the difference. Okay. Um... I don't remember why I was pumping everything into here. Oh, that's right, to make room for this lubricant train that's also blocked now. Um, I guess if we get LDS in here, we'll at least start producing again. So we can consume some of this stuff and get it out of the way. Okay, train's empty. Let's empty this extra storage thing that's not supposed to be here. I'm going to set the train limit to 1. I don't think that explains anything. I don't see it scheduling, like, the same type of train twice. Also, how much iridium plate? Let's say two train loads. Um, or, like, one and a bit train loads. 8,000. Glass is supposed to be one and a bit train loads, and yet we have... 47,000. That is almost three train loads of glass. Yeah. 
Yeah, that is... I don't know what's going on here. What? Oh. Wait, no, it sent another lubricant train? Surely that wasn't the same... I, I saw this empty like a second ago. A lubricant train here. Was there another one, like, already in motion? Maybe it was the train limit. It's another, yeah. Maybe the train limit explains it. Today I discovered the mod settings to always hide the life support GUI. Yeah, I almost died from that today. Thanks for the follow, Mr. MacGyver. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, I think what might happen here... This is the... Uh, this is a... Like, I don't have much to go on here. This is very much my working hypothesis. Um, but, the, but it's the only idea that I have at this point. Um... I suspect when you say train limit more than, like, train limit two, it's actually, like, two trains per resource. Why is there another... What? You're kidding me. Okay. How about... How about this? Um... I wonder if... I don't really want you to empty all that stuff into the depot. Oh. I didn't actually set this up properly. There's no... Emptying of that cargo wagon yet. Could you please wait over here? And what about the others? I don't know where they've gone now because I can't click on the station. Um, you're not going to have an LDS drop-off to go to. Uh, another thought I have is... I don't think this makes sense either, because I haven't touched these stations for a while. But maybe this is the sort of bug where, like, deleting and then placing the train stops again fixes something. Like, maybe that wire was not actually effectively connected, even though it looked like it was. Um, don't do that yet. Also, why are these lights still white? Wait, has LTN, like... No, LTN hasn't stopped working. Entirely. As far as we know, nothing has stopped working on Nalvis as well, which is really... Well, I certainly hope it stays that way. None of the other LTN stations up here have been doing anything weird. Okay, they have green lights now. Um, let's connect this again. Connect this again. Hold on. Why are there two green signals? There should be only one green signal here. Something's definitely wrong. Green signal one. What the hell? 
How does this still have a green signal attached to it? That's really spooky. What is going on here? Oh, it's from over there. Okay, that makes perfect sense, actually. Sure. That only appeared after you connected them to read the values, yeah. Yeah, it's because they're connected up, up there. I thought for a second there was like a ghost, um, some, some kind of spectral connection to a light that didn't exist anymore or something. No, this is, this is okay. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious hey, killer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so each of these has one green signal. Nothing weird there so far. Um, we need to name the stations again. How much on the cable do we have? Uh, 28k, 23k. I'm going to set glass and volume plate to only 17k. That should not trigger a delivery until we're almost out. So we're going to have... Uh, I actually need to check... Wait, where did that train go? It's going round in circles between... Oh no. I think it's been picking up LDS and then taking it back to... Oh no. Please stop. Please, please stop. Please. Please. Yeah, I thought we would make this station and then the train would show up. Okay, so glass, homie, and plate, LDS. Is the ordering for the name here? Class, volume plate, low density structure, and chemical gel. We've got this connected. We've got this. No stops with this name exist. Glass, plate, LDS, gel. Oh, I know what the problem is. Turn this off real quick. And that should have... I think I named it wrong earlier. I think I named it like it was a provider station. Okay, in that case... Please come here. No, I just named this one wrong slightly. Um, that goes here. Okay. Please drop off. Unless there's not enough room for the LDS, which there isn't. So, go back to depot, I suppose, and dump a bunch of LDS in there. What was that? Wait, what text did I just see pop up there? It might have said no trains available or something. Um, let's set the name for this one again. Holmium plate, holmium cable, lubricant. Holmium plate, holmium cable, lubricant, requester. And we've got this one already in motion. Trying to. 
Oh, we've got a traffic jam up here. Good. Yeah, that shouldn't... Oh my god, how many lubricant trains are there? That should be a chain signal. Send the spiders to fix that so I don't have to wander over there myself. Okay. Turns out we need to add even more ludicrous temporary storage. The chemical gel jumped after request it, yeah. I saw. Okay. Um, actually, I want to turn these off until... Well, I'm going to need you to get out of the way, firstly. And you... Uh, come to the drop-off. Now, what's this train doing? Chemical gel, 25k. It's going to the other station that seems to be working just fine. Okay. Also, I wonder why we've got a request threshold for 100k here, and we always see 100k lubricant getting delivered, even though this has a provide threshold of 25k. But when it comes to chemical gel, it's probably because it gets made so much slower. Oh, we've actually kind of run out of lubricant. I almost want to say good. Still trying to empty? I don't understand why it was working just fine for a while. We didn't touch anything, and then this happened as well. I don't think it's that we were keeping up with consumption. Because it was stopped for quite a while, because scrap had nowhere to go, or because we didn't have solar panels. Okay, looks like you have almost 100k. Did we fix that signal? Yes, we did. Alright, so there's no train except for this one. Once we drop off that lubricant, there are no trains scheduled, except for this one. We've got way too much cable. Okay, fine, just drop that off into the, uh, into the abyss as well, I suppose. And speaking of which, I need to... I don't know how I'm going to do this one. That's probably why I had the chests up here before. Alright, that's going to go there. That'll use the same 
That's fine. Hmm. What's the cleanest way to do this part of the build? Oh, it's already... This one's... This part's already limited to a half belt everywhere else, so... I think it'll be fine if we just do it this way. That'll have to do, I suppose. Got the paste flip. And over here as well. Get the spiders to pay them a visit. That's a fluid wagon though? Yeah, that's fine. I decided to use the regular um, train stops uh, for the fluid wagons. Although at the time I thought I had finally gotten to the point where we're not having fluid wagons come back to the depot with fluids. And then this happened. Okay. So, is this going to trigger more deliveries? It would appear not. And I'm not sure why. Oh, and we should probably start using all of this again. So, I expect to not see another lubricant delivery here until all of this is empty. Seems to be working normally now. Wait, are all of our trains, like, available? We've definitely got some trains available. Uh, also need to power that. Two, three, and four. At least this fits cozily. Okay. It's also going to incidentally bring a bunch of these resources back to the um back to the mall. I guess I can live with that. I'm almost tempted to use single cargo wagon trains for just everything, considering some of the things that have happened, uh, some of the things that it's much more difficult to do with multiple cargo wagons because you can't measure them individually. How much rocket fuel do we have here? Not too much. Good. Oh, and I completely forgot about the... Cargo rocket silos, understandably enough. Hey, Eoni Games. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you really need to transport the liquids to space in barrels? I mean, is there any other way? Handling empty barrels is kind of a pain in the butt. Yes, it is. That's why I used coal and ice for coal liquefaction in space. Unfortunately, there's no liquid cargo rocket. Use methane for petrol stuff. Import it from one of Calidus's belts. And scrap the empty barrels back into steel. Yeah, that's true. But it is much, uh, much more space efficient 
like if you if you're wanting like the basic oil products for example uh it's much more space efficient to send up coal and ice and use liquefaction use spaceships if you have those yeah definitely <laughs> of course all right that's our cargo rocket silos um I definitely want those set to go to Nalvis, nowhere in particular, launch trigger manual. Wait, did I change this one? Yeah. I want this to be our default. So we don't get any surprises. Oh, also, they are indeed getting their liquid rocket fuel. Not this one, though. Wait, why not? Um, does the liquid rocket fuel not? Connect on the side here? Does this have to be powered? It is... Oh, does this have to be powered? I... don't think that's it, because we would have seen liquid rocket fuel in this pipe. I have 19 million patch with prod modules that will last to the end of times. Uh, never say never. Also, I wanted to see if I could squeeze in here. I can't. What if I use the jetpack? I still can't enter it. I guess that's because the, uh, the rocket's not actually ready to launch. But... I'm a bit confused as to why this is full of liquid rocket fuel because it's got no destination or oh, now this is its destination 5.2k but oh wait oh now it works wait what what was that about that was very strange. Okay. Uh, we need some circuitry. Or just some signals. Uh, let's see. Don't forget to connect this, first of all. Cargo rocket has to be greater than zero. In other words, it has to be ready to launch. We're going to read what's in the cargo rocket silo. Set filters blacklist. Space capsule is detected, so we're not picking that up. Um, on this constant combinator, we have negative 99 cargo rocket sections just to offset uh, that we're allowed to put 99 more in before the, we get our blacklist. T-Hex stage is train base? Yes. Oxyway Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is your current space base stage? Yeah, it's... Uh, we're moving on from the overly large main bus base that I made just to do the tier 1 sciences and we're going into space rail blocks which is going to scale much much better um, so let's have a look at what I did over here we have a red wire going all the way back up here just to say station priority and I don't know if we need a green wire down here I don't think so 
Yeah, it's a red wire because we want to separate those signals. Okay. So this goes... That looks terrible. This goes here, I guess. Could we maybe do something a bit more consistent looking with the substations? Like... Have them right next to each one of these. Down here will be a little bit of an exception, but probably live with that. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. Let's move this up a little bit. Oh. Substation goes here. that's fine. I was just looking at which would be neater or more consistent where to have the belts. Alright, so if we're going to be consistent, this substation goes here, and then we just don't quite touch this inserter and we're sad. I guess I could move this over. Uh, we don't need that one. This isn't going to look good and consistent no matter how I do it. Also, what is with these wires? I can probably live with that. Not really. That's better. Don't need that substation. Uh, we do need one over here, though. And... One over here. I guess I could move these underground belts a little bit. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Red wire next to here. None of our rockets are ready to launch, so request priority is bumped up by one. naturally it's well I was going to say it's the uh, rockets at the end here that are closest to ready to launch but some of them already did grab 100 cargo rocket sections it's just that the uh, space capsules ended up all the way down here I suppose I could make it a sushi belt if I really wanted. Um, but no. We have so much of this stuff coming up from orbit that it's not going to be a problem. That one underground at the bottom rocket fuel underneath the substation is the wrong way. 
No, it's just a ghost. We can fix that. And now we have two rockets ready to launch. Oh, I see. Indeed. a lot of rockets suddenly ready to launch. Oh, it's only three actually. Okay. I think the first thing we're going to shove into our rockets to go back to Nalvis. has to be flat solar panel tier 2. Oh, that doesn't go there. Wait, that's... Okay, good. I found the one spot where it lines up nice and straight with uh, both the northbound and southbound belts. Fantastic. What else are we missing here? A few chests, some logistic train stops. I don't think I actually configured this one either. Well, none of them are configured, but I didn't put in the default stuff. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Do not request those. What are we doing? Okay. Alright, cool. So... Default name is just... Something Requester. Default stats are... Long Train has to be full. sure that is placed. Uh, I need some more steel chests. And some belt. More cargo rocket sections. We're getting close to done here. Okay. Wait, can I... No. There's no way I... Uh, I could make this nice and neat at least. And let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Pretty sure all of those are connected. Fantastic. And are all of these inserters connected to their respective rockets? It looks like they are. Fantastic. Okay. I could bring these down a little bit, if only to make the wiring look a bit less weird. And it'll also... well, it won't be at the very bottom here, will it? Actually, this will be fine. And we've slightly increased our ludicrous capacity for space capsules up here. Okay. 
Okay. We should probably copy what we've done here for cargo landing pads back down on Nalvis to put things back into the rail block. Um, it'll only be the rail that doesn't get copied and that's very, very easy to replicate. Yeah, I like that. But first thing we're going to do to inaugurate this uh, this new system we've built, I think I'll start here actually. Like solar panels, tier two. What do they stack to? Twenty. Uh, so five hundred times twenty is ten k. Update the station name. Actually, I almost forgot to update uh, the colors. Zero one five five two five five. And this goes here. Oh, there's another rocket sneaking its way up on the left side of the screen. Okay, light solar panels, 10k, tier 2. Away we go. Um, and well obviously I have to actually configure this at some point. There we go, we've already got a train load of 3.2k. Oh, that might be... Yeah, that's actually as many as we can fit in a train, isn't it? Doesn't sound like that much. But on the other hand, it is flat solar panels. That are twice as good as the first tier. I was trying to... yeah. Those are all full. Okay, do we do we have disaster up here? We do not. So ultimately what seemed to fix all of this was simply deleting the logistic train stop and then putting it in exactly the same. Uh, but also, I removed the... I, I put the train limit back down to 1, which may have something to do with it. It is the one variable that I can think of that may have been the only thing that's changed lately. Uh, for the longest time, I used train limit 1 by default. I started using larger train limits on... Uh stations that only use one resource and i'm th thinking maybe things can get a get a bit fucky wucky if you bump up the train limit when it's trying to bring multiple different resources to the same station which now that i mentioned that Kind of makes me want to bump this back down. I would much rather have a little bit of a delay in delivering these things sometimes than run into that sort of problem again. Okay. Uh, did we finish that belt? We did not. Did we run out of belt? Oh, I've got some right here. Fantastic. 
and we're actually pretty close to having all of these rockets ready to launch already. I think we are going to have to... No, I'm sure we're going to have to have a cargo rocket that specifically sends... Possibly capsules. And also packed cargo rocket sections back down to Nalvis. I think the way to do that is simply make the drop-off station as low priority as possible. Yeah, that might be all it takes, actually. Okay. Now then. How about we make this rocket here? I kind of want, like, iron, copper, stone to be here. Um... So why don't we make this rocket our cargo rocket sections and such. Except I want them to be packed. Which raises the question of where do we pack the cargo rocket sections? How do we... How do we know if all of the stations requesting regular cargo rocket sections are already satisfied? So we want to start packing the cargo rocket sections instead. Instead of doing that, I could simply make it so that if we've got greater than some amount of... I could make it like if we've got greater than 48 cargo rocket sections here, turn them into packed cargo rocket sections. That might be all it takes. Yeah, I think... I think that's probably it. Why do we have so many bots milling about? Let's let them back. Can you unpack the pact? Yes. Um, the question is just the logic of how we go about it. We want to have supplying cargo rocket sections to the rockets to be a higher priority than shoving the packed ones into one of these rockets to go back to Nalvis. But I think... I think as long as we just have an assembler here uh, that has a setting... Do we have any... I don't think I have any little assembly machines available um, right now. Let me just steal this from over here. Well, I'm going to need to go pick some up. Oh, nope, they're right here. Fantastic. Okay. So, cargo, rocket, section, packing. And we're going to need a requester chest. I guess I should bring them, bring it up here. Since it's going to be a shorter trip for the bots that way. And I find myself arriving back at the problem of needing a loader or a four cargo wagon train. This is in motion. That implies it's been working. We haven't actually patched this yet, but all it's been doing is stone. That's why. How much freaking stone do we have in this robo-network? Only 18,000 remaining, actually. Why is it always stone that's... I guess stone is in higher demand. 
Okay. Um, I hope there's a way we can do this without so many combinators, but I think what we do here, that's the wrong input. It might be this one. That's the wrong input. Um... Which input was it? Circuits... This thing... This is where we were putting it. It goes into the middle one. Why did I lay it out like that? These two are connected though. Oh wait, it's connected to this. Yeah, no, that one... Each greater than or equal to A output each input count. Uh, this one. That is the input. So why is this flickering and going around in a circle? Uh, let me connect this to something simpler to test it. Or maybe I copy-pasted this thing wrong somehow. Okay. That goes there. Iron plate one. Seems to be working just fine. Oh, it was probably because this was adding some signal to it. Let's see. Copper plate one. It's going to output both of those. Steel two. It only outputs steel. Plastic three. Iron plate four. Okay, so that does work. So probably the fact that this was outputting 12s somehow threw that off. Um, let's wait till this train is... It's gonna take ages to load this train. That stack size of one. Well, the train isn't going anywhere where it's going to matter that much if it's perfectly fully loaded. Let's just send it on its merry way. Turn this off for now. Um, we're going to... We're going to input the amount of stuff we're still trying to put into the train that sometimes has an extra signal that we're trying to get rid of into our maximum thingamajig. And then... It seemed to get upset when we had an S value supplied to it. So why don't we change the layout of this? Um, we're gonna use a red wire. Okay, we're gonna use this green wire to set the requests and filters and so on. And we're going to use this red wire to set the stack size, not that one. Set the stack size for the inserters that are putting stuff into the train. Okay, and that should give us the uh, blacklist filter as well for whatever number is highest. Oh, 
Don't forget to connect this here. Okay, I think we're ready to try it, but what I'd really like to do, if I can figure out a way to do it, is deliberately put... Oh, never mind. We've got some stone sticking out here. Okay. Um... I kind of want to force LTN to pick up something other than stone here. How about... I don't know, how about... I'm going to have to create a demand for whatever we're trying to get it to pick up. That's the trouble. We can do red circuits. I can just double, um, double the amount that one of the stations is asking for somewhere. So we're going to not read logistic network contents. We're going to tell LTN that we've got a bajillion red circuits. And when the train arrives, it's going to get a little bit of stone put in it. And we're going to get that stone signal here that we don't want. And this thing is going to get rid of it because the stone is going to be the smaller number. And that should set all of these to red circuits on the filters. Blacklist for the one taking from the train. That little bit of stone is going to be put into this chest. And then we'll actually get the red circuits loaded properly. That's the theory, anyway. Okay, so we're going to turn this on. And just to be sure, we're going to find somewhere that needs red circuits. Um... How full is this? Not that full. Okay, let's set this to like... 200k? Uh... But wait, there's more. Unless the train is already scheduled here. Uh, let's... Oh, this is already provide priority 100. Okay, cool. So... Turn on our request for red circuits again. And within a few seconds, we should see a train scheduled to come and pick up some of our 2.1 gorillion red circuits. Or it could take a little bit longer than that. Let's bump up the priority as well, just to be sure. Don't tell me it's getting red circuits from somewhere else. It is not. Alright, there's our red circuit train. So as soon as it gets here... Probably, I think what happens is a tick or two before the logistic train stop output does its thing. It's going to get stone put into this cargo wagon. And then something that I don't know why you would want it to do that, that I don't find very helpful, uh, the LTN train stop output with an incoming train doesn't just tell you what the train wants, it also tells you what it has. If it had something when it arrived. Here we go. That's it. It got rid of the stone. 
because 32k is greater than 1. Uh, our max signal did its thing. Now we get some red circuits dropped here at about the same time. Um, I could maybe add some circuitry to make sure that really does happen simultaneously, but that would be even more of a pain. Also, with a smaller robo network, it's not going to be as big of an issue. Smaller geographically, not like number of bots. Okay, so currently... Wait, what? No. You're kidding me. What's... What? Um... We put in some red circuits. The signal drops from like 32k to 31 point something k. And then for some reason, our filter switches over to stone. I'm guessing... Uh, I'm guessing the max um, circuit, when something changes, there's a couple of... There's a couple of uh, ticks where it's not outputting what's actually the maximum, and then that's all it takes to make this thing pick up the red circuits. Oh, that's frustrating. I'm actually completely out of ideas as to how to make this work now. I guess, uh, if we don't, if we don't make things available until they're actually in a bunch of chests here, no, that doesn't do it. Well, I am a bit stumped for now. What happened? Uh, what happens is when there was an inserter sticking out with the wrong resource and a train comes in, uh, that resource gets put in the train, I think technically before the train arrives, and then the logistic train stop output has a signal that is what was in the train when it arrived, which is a signal we do not want. So the one thing I could think of to get rid of that stone signal right there is, well, something dynamic anyway, is we say maximum of all of these signals is the one that we pass through, except I think as soon as we, the moment we put more red circuit, we put some red circuits in here. Um, the total, the total red circuits that we're still trying to load changes, and the way this circuit works, because it goes, this is in, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Iterative. Uh, this is a circuit that goes around in circles uh, with the way it works. And I think when the number changes for just a few ticks, it, it, it has to do its thing. There's like a gap where it's going to output stone again. And it outputs the stone for just long enough that it changes all of this to stone. So it changes this blacklist to stone, so we take the red circuits out of the cargo wagon. There is a way to prevent inserters from sticking out. 
There's a few ways, but I'm trying to find a way that will allow us to load four cargo wagons reasonably quickly. There's a very, very, very easy way to do it, and that is just set the stack size to one, and only have one inserter per cargo wagon. Then pick out what you don't want in the cargo. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. I could try... Uh, if I were to say, only give us a signal that's greater than, like... Uh, the maximum would be four stacks. That could be... That if we had inserters sticking out after this. Um, if I were to just say... Only pass through signals that are greater than four stacks, then how are we going to actually finish loading the thing with a stack size of one? We could have... We could have a separate inserter that has a stack size of one. Whoops. Hmm. Except... I'm not sure. Also, the fact that this, um... Oh, now I can't see the... LTN... Uh... I, I can't see the yellow combinator now. Because the bots are in the way. There we go. The fact that this, uh stone signal continues to persist even when we take the stone out of the train doesn't help either. I'm gonna look again but I'm pretty sure there isn't a LTN setting that says don't give us a signal for that. I guess it would be a drop-down, and I only see one drop-down. Schedule circuit conditions. Add circuit condition to wait for red equals zero or green greater than or equal to one to all stops. All LTN stops require having center train enabled and a circuit condition. Otherwise trains will be stuck waiting forever. Oh, with this setting. Okay. I was going to say, I'm sure I turned off send to train at least once. Depot inactivity. Uh... Depots reset filters. Well, we don't have any filters on our wagons anyway. Depot fluid removal, default network ID. Yeah. I don't know what the utility of having that signal for what was already in the train when it arrived is supposed to be. If you're doing a pickup. Maybe it just doesn't it definitely does distinguish between a pickup or a drop off, otherwise, we wouldn't have that 32k red circuit signal. Why not just use blacklist? Blacklist the inserter from what you're requesting? That's what we are doing, or trying to do. This inserter right here is supposed to have a blacklist of whatever we don't want in the train. The problem is. Where we get the signal for what we want to be in the train, uh, it includes the signal of whatever was shoved into the train by accident uh, by one of the inserters. My idea to separate those uh, to know which was which is to pick the maximum of the two signals. But every time the amount of circuits in the train changes, um, the maximum circuit does a lap and we lose 
uh, we basically lose the signal for just a moment and then it spits out stone and that's a problem. Can you lower signal value by fixed amount so now stone will turn negative? Yes, but... It's got the same problem, I think, as what I was thinking about, where what if instead of this max signal, I just have only pass a signal through if it's greater than, like, 40? And the problem with that is we stop loading the train when it gets down to 40. Um... Also, now that I think of it, yeah, we're also trying to request stone into this uh, requester chest. I wish I could configure this to only tell me what the train is supposed to have in it. That would make it much, much, much easier to do what we're trying to do here. Maybe the solution is in... Hmm. I mean, it, it goes back to, I think, the way to deal with it. It's a little bit fragile, but you have to just make sure you never accidentally load an extra item into the train which we eventually got working with this lot. But it's harder to do if we're also dealing with logistic bots delivering to these chests. Um, and then trying to... And then trying to do a precise load after or during that. Use a delay call train until you request a chest got all the items. Yeah, I've been thinking about that, but how do I... How do I know when they're all balanced or when they've all got enough items? You can't set requests and read from a uh, request a chest, which is something that's caused me problems multiple times. Um, I'm just going to send that back to the depot for now. Turn this off. You can count the amount. Uh, how do you mean? Unbalanced loading. This is why I started using merging chests. That would help, yeah. One of the things that makes this so difficult is we can only check what's in the entire train, not what's in a specific cargo wagon. It's really quite easy to do this with a single cargo wagon. Alright, I think that's something for me to think about overnight, though. Um, if we... Uh, I think we just make... I think we just make it a single train to drop off the packed cargo rocket sections until I can think of something better anyway. Um, I also want to put uh, space capsules into this thing if it comes to that. 
but I can't really think of what the thresholds should be to decide if that's the case. Oh. That's one way to do it. Yeah, what? I, I, I almost overcomplicated that. Um, we could just say... We could say if there's a certain amount of... Why are both of these connected to the same... Hold on. Request priority. And they also know... Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. If cargo... if seven... oh, this should be eight now. If less than eight cargo rockets are ready to launch here, which this time we've got eight. Wait, what's that red signal for eight capsules? Where is that coming from? Oh, right, of course. Yeah, if less than eight cargo rockets are ready to launch here, both of these receive request priority one. This one's requesting cargo rocket sections, this one's requesting space capsules, so it really doesn't matter if they're also reading from here and here at the same time. Okay. Anyway, um... What I want to do is, if cargo rocket sections on this green wire are less than some amount, so that's in the chest, then we will request, uh, a greater than some amount, then we will request uh, space capsules to be delivered here. So this will have to be a bit of a custom job. Um, we're going to put... I guess we're not going to need the double belts for this one. Wait, before I go changing that, I definitely want to make a blueprint out of this. Uh... I should have done that before I set any of these, but that's fine. It's not too difficult to sort out. Uh, let's go with that. Let's just say Nervous Orbit for now. Okay, so so we're going to get rid of most of this. This is going to get confusing. I'm just going to get rid of all of these. And then... Connect that up wherever that goes. Let's get in our spiders. Pay that block a visit. going to request packed cargo rocket sections. Not sure how many just yet. 
threshold is like 10, I suppose, because we're going to be uh, using this for capsules as well. We don't need stack inserters because the stack size is 1 no matter what. Um, we'll say cargo section packed space capsule and these need to say specific things and this is space capsule These also do not need to be stack inserters. Okay. So all we're going to have to do here is... If we have greater than some number of space capsules, then we request space capsules be brought to this rocket. And maybe it's fine to just... Re oh, we need a... We'll need an arithmetic combinator anyway, because it needs to be a negative. Okay, so capsule... Greater than... what? How much are we requesting here? 40. That's kind of a lot. And I think that's totally fine. How much do we actually get in these chests? That's not 40. 36. Our request stack threshold is 10. So that actually seems to be working as normal. Uh, so if there's 30, we can consider this full, basically. Um, if space capsule greater than... greater than or equal to 30, output space capsule 1 multiply by negative something Let's say, well, you know what, if we've got spare space capsules, let's see if we can get 40 delivered at a time. And I think I will set the request threshold to just one for this. Maybe I'll change that later, we'll see how it goes. So, uh, that should be a red wire. Cool. And, uh, how many, we can fit 500, some of them will be, well, yeah, let's just say 500. Oh, how many can we actually fit in these chests? 48 times 3 is only 144. Let's say like 120. I'm sure that's overkill. And 40 space capsules if if the space capsules haven't gone everywhere else they're supposed to yet. Cool. Or well, scrap that Logi network and put everything into rail network. That's the solution too. Well, that's why I was originally trying to make this station. Uh, I want it to be a high priority provider station that offers anything that we've got a lot of in the logistic network. 
to the rail network. And then the problem is just loading the trains without this happening. But also loading them at a pace that is not unbelievably slow. We can solve this problem very, very easily if we don't care about speed. We can just have a single inserter with a stack size of one for each, um, for each cargo wagon. If we were loading advanced circuits with this, uh, it would take 8,000 swings for each cargo wagon. I mean, those would happen in parallel, but it would take 8,000 swings. 864 degrees per second is 2.4 swings. So you're looking at... Um, wait, what? 8,000 over 2.4? That can't be right. Uh, 3,333.33 seconds, or almost an hour to load a single uh, train. I suppose for the purpose of gradually draining this uh, massive obsolete um, logistic network of its excess resources, that might be okay, except that if we actually need those red circuits somewhere... <laughs> oh, did I not change this back? I did not. Yeah, taking literally an hour to load a train is, um, suboptimal in my opinion. But that would work. But the train stop that's requesting the items would be waiting for an hour. Maybe logistic storage rail block would be enough to contain everything? Logistic storage rail block. Yeah, that's what I've been moving towards. Um, I want to come up with something with some auto crafters, a few dedicated crafters. Uh, this is for receiving uh flat solar panels actually in fact it might be time to stop the old regular flat solar panels from getting delivered since we're able to do um since we're able to do the tier two ones now in fact we've already got we've already got more of a rocket build with those over here, then we have another one coming up from the old base. Uh, so that's going to be aimed at the mall. And I think I will actually auto-launch that one. Is there any reason that I would want to put the tier 2 flat solar panels into the rail network, like normally? I don't think so. And even if I do, I am going to want these available for our construction spiders for now. Are we still making... Why are we not making multi-spectrals? Because there's no chemical gel? Is this actually just a normal problem now? I think it is. Yeah, I think we're just bottlenecked on petroleum. Why is light oil... Oh. Oh. Oh, I messed that up. Uh, that needs changing. I'm surprised I didn't see a problem with, uh, see a problem happening as a result of that sooner.
So the condition here is heavy oil is greater than light oil. That's the light oil from cracking going into here. The idea is to control this thing. But it's actually blocking light oil from going back here. Not that that's a problem. But also it's blocking light oil from being used for cracking to petroleum. This is the sort of problem that could only happen because the way we had our... It could only avoid being noticed because we were not using chemical gel for our data storage substrates previously. Um, we actually ended up with way too much petroleum. Okay. So I think if I move this pump like here. Uh, how should I go about it? This is the pump that says crack heavy oil to light oil. Shouldn't I just make it this one? Yeah, that seems really obvious, actually. Okay, let's fix that, and probably time to find a stream to raid. Uh, in fact, literally this should probably be just go here. This will prevent cracking to petroleum unless we're down to less than 5k petroleum in this container. Heavy oil has to be greater than light oil for us to decide to crack to light. Yeah, that is working properly. As much as I do want to... Yeah, no, this is fine. Okay, then. Uh, let's go park ourselves down here for now. We are going to need a proper... proper rail block for making fluids instead of just stealing from this place. Perhaps. But this will be okay for now, I think. We are very, very bottlenecked on petroleum. I think we need more cracking. Although I see the light oil is draining. Maybe that is actually enough cracking in the long run. Need to go. See you next time. Take care, El Pancho. Thanks for stopping by. And I guess it's time for me to have nightmares about trying to make this uh, train loader work. Alright, let's see who is streaming Factorio for today. Oh, Diablo, it's been a minute. Why not? Wait, let me just confirm he's not trying to finish his stream right now. That is not the ending screen, so you don't get to complain. Okay. Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for the follow, Franco. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if you're interested, check out the Discord of the Blueprints. If you have any questions, by all means, let me know. And uh, for now, bye and have a good day. Indeed. Take care, Ian Newer. See you later, guys.
cannot do is if you place down the uh, beacons and the smelters or the furnaces, you can't actually run over those. So it's it's a lot harder to place the rest down if you do those first. So, Mr. Tyrannosaurus Hex is raiding with a party of 65. Well, hello to one and to all. Thank you.